Friday National Hockey League action is brought to you by Toyota, the official car of the Kings. See all the 1982 Toyota cars and trucks today at your Toyota dealer. Oh, what a feeling to drive a Toyota. And by Sears, where satisfaction is guaranteed for your money back. For quality, value, and service, you can count on Sears. By Schlitz Malt Liquor, the bowl for a taste that's big and smooth and bold. The Schlitz Malt Liquor Bowl. By Mark C. Bloom. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. By Canon. Quality cameras and photographic equipment that's so advanced, Canon is the world's leader in 35mm photography. And by Republic Airlines, the official airline of the king. Nobody serves our republic like Republic Airlines. Live from the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton, Alberta, welcome to the fifth and deciding game in this Stanley Cup playoff series between the Los Angeles Kings and the Edmonton Oilers. Hi, everybody. This is Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. This is the deciding game in the series. The series is tied at two games each. The Kings won the first game up here, 10-8, to in a game which set a record for goals, 18 in one game by two teams. Then the Oilers tied it as Wayne Gretzky got an overtime goal to win it 3-2 for the Edmonton Oilers, and that tied the series at one game each. Mario Lassard had put the puck against the boards, but Gretzky picked it up and stopped to the top of the slot and scored, and the game and the series was tied at 1-1 one one as the great Wayne Gretzky had won it 3-2 for the Oilers. Then both teams came back to Los Angeles for game three and game four in the series as the series switched to Los Angeles and the home of the Kings, the fabulous forum. The Kings were down in game three, five to nothing, and made an incredible comeback culminated by this overtime goal by rookie Daryl Evans that gave the Kings a two game to one lead the greatest single comeback in Stanley Cup history in one game. However, last night, the Oilers won it. Glenn Anderson got a bouncing puck up the middle and scored on Mario Lessard, and that evened the series at two games each as the Oilers won last night 3-2. Both teams came back to Edmonton on the same charter flight and literally dropped in at the airport as we really bounced down at about 5 o'clock this morning. And a bunch of bleary-eyed players from both teams came off of the charter and arrived at the hotel at about 5.30 this morning. And then went to bed about 6 o'clock. And now we're at the Northlands Coliseum here tonight for the fifth game. So both clubs had meetings today, and we'll see what's going to happen tonight. We'll be back to talk more about it in one minute. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Business Week, the world's leading business magazine. Business Week's editorial focus and our advertising objectives go together very well. I'm very enthusiastic about Business Week. Always have to. Works for us, it works for our clients. Does an excellent job. The frequent business traveler is just the person who reads Business Week, and he is just the person we want riding on Trans World Airlines. Business Week, the world's leading business magazine. Business Week has produced results. While delivering sparklets at Fourth and Grand, I happened upon a lemonade stand where business was going from bad to really bad. I took a little sip and said, in the lemonade game, taste is the key. And I don't mean to brag, but between you and me, sparklets taste is the very best you can buy. They all said, right. Well, the very next time that I came through, they were doing more business than they could do. Me and sparklets water making friends. Nick, I'll tell you, you couldn't get a closer series. The Kings are coming out onto the ice right now, and the fans are really getting on them because of the crowd reaction back in Los Angeles. But when you look at the goaltender statistics, they are as close as they can be. That's right. Both goaltenders, Lassard and Fuhr, have played in the first four games. They'll play, of course, tonight. They have each allowed 19 goals. One empty netter against Fuhr, but that does not count against his average. They've each played in four games. They've each come up with big saves throughout the course of this series. 
one factor that has pleased Kings coach Don Perry has been that they have been able to limit Edmonton in the shots on goal. They had only seven in each period last night, even though they won the game. In the first period, Edmonton has outshot the Kings 52-41. But then in the second and third periods, the Kings lead in the shots on goal, 58-37 in the second, 42-38 in the third. And in overtime, Edmonton leads in shots on goal 8-4. But in the total shots on goal, the Kings have outshot the Oilers 145-135. to The only other time that I can remember the Kings playing back-to-back -back playoff games was in 1975 when they played on a Thursday night in Toronto and came back Friday night in Los Angeles and got beat 2-1. to one. Coach Bob Pulford at that time felt that the day travel did not help the Kings' older players. At that time, they had Danny Maloney, Frank St. Marseille, Terry Harper, Rogi Vashon. It's going to be interesting tonight to see which team bounces back. The Oilers are the younger team. That's right, and throughout the course of the regular season, the Oilers have been the third period club. Although in the playoffs, it's been the reverse. The Kings have really played well, better than the Oilers in the third period. So it should be an interesting matchup. Well, as you can tell, the Oilers are coming out onto the ice. There was a lot of talk about the way the fans in Los Angeles treated the Oilers. And people up here were a little upset. The newspapers here even went so far in their newspaper articles today to say, let's get out and cheer tonight. And they're certainly doing that. I thought the Los Angeles fans were great, with a possible exception of chanting an obscenity at Wayne Gretzky. Otherwise, I thought the fans in Los Angeles were tremendously behind the Kings. That's right, and as you might expect, the Oilers will do the same here for Game 5, and I think there will be a lot of intensity in the building tonight because I don't think the players, and especially the Edmonton Oilers hockey fans, ever expected it to come down to this fifth and deciding game. I still believe, Bob, the key in this game is going to be the first period. Hopefully, if the Kings can stay close, we'll have a heck of a hockey game again. The first four have been close. Why not here in the fifth? 17,490, and they are roaring here at the Northlands Coliseum. Can you imagine the money you could have made had you bet anyone at the beginning of this playoff series that the top three teams in the league, the Islanders, the Oilers, and the Montreal Canadiens, would all be playing in a fifth game tonight to stay alive in the playoffs? Again, if you just joined us, the Montreal Canadiens are losing in the second period. The Islanders are tied with Pittsburgh. Nothing, nothing in the second. Conceivably, after tonight, all four division winners could be eliminated. I hope so. <laughs> the ovation, as you can tell, is continuing here. And I don't believe they have ever heard anything like this here in Edmonton. Now, of course, we weren't here last year when they beat Montreal. But normally, during the regular season, this crowd is pretty quiet. That's right. Uh, it seems to me that the Canadian hockey fans, Quebec, Montreal, Edmonton, they're very sophisticated. Of course, they know the game very well. It's their national sport, and very rarely do they get vocal. They do a lot of clapping, but a, very few uh, of them will cheer, get on the opposition, which is good. They're good fans from that standpoint, but tonight, I think we might see a change. If there's one thing that these fans learned about hockey in Southern California, it is that the fans can get behind the Los Angeles Kings. And they sat up here and watched those games in Los Angeles on television. They listened to them on radio, and they found out that Southern Californians know a little bit about getting behind their team. You know, Bob, the public address announcer, as soon as he opens his mouth, to tell everybody to stand. Of course, they're standing now for the anthem. They just cheer louder and louder. So we may have a delay here tonight of a few minutes like we had in games three and four in Los Angeles. Well, it's great to see. It was great to see in Los Angeles. It's great to see Oiler fans get behind their team. As we said, this is the game that nobody in Edmonton or Alberta or probably in the National Hockey League thought was going to be played. It was the biggest mismatch in the series. 
The Oilers finishing second overall. The Kings finishing 17th. And yet the Kings have taken the Oilers to the fifth game. And the Kings have provided the fans in Los Angeles with something they'll never forget, that great comeback. And now, our national anthem. Officials for tonight's game, the referee will be Andy Van Hellemond, the linesman Gerard Gauthier, along with Swede Knox. In goal for the Los Angeles Kings, his fifth straight appearance, Mario Lassard, a record in the playoffs of 2-2, two and two, an average of 4.58. Again, Grant Fuhr for the Oilers, likewise a record of 2-2, two and two, the exact average as Lassard's at 4.58. On defense, Lewis and Korab for the Kings. Dion at center, Mike Murphy on the right, Evans on the left. For the Oilers, Gretzky centers Anderson and Curry. Huddy and Silton on defense. And of course, Fjord in goal. And here are the first period of game five. Series tied at two. Here's Bob Miller. Thank you very much, Nick. And off the draw, Gretzky drives it to the King line. Broken up there. Dion is out for the Kings. He took the draw with Gretzky. Dion has it back in the King zone. King skating left to right. Pass up the center ice. Taken by Charlie Huddy. Huddy into the King zone. Poked away off the skate of Korab. Off the center ice and flipped back in. Deliberate offside will be called as Siltonen knew that his teammates were offside and he flipped it into the King zone. This is an officially copyrighted simulcast of California sports and the Los Angeles Kings. Any rebroadcast or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Kings is prohibited. The there scratches, Bob, uh, before we get to the next sequence. Callaghan and Hogman again out for the Oilers. Terrion, Sykes, and Sims out for the Kings. Draw in the Oilers zone. Comes left point. Darrell Evans gets a shot wide. Hits the back of the Oiler net. Taken by Charlie Huddy. Game just underway. The winner will advance. The loser has their season ended here tonight. Here come the Oilers. Up the center ice. Risto Silton in with it. To the red line. He shoots. Stick saved by Lassard. Rebound right up the middle. Bouncing puck. And Korab gives it over to Dave Lewis. But a hand pass called against the Kings. 
wanted to say that we had numerous phone calls here today telling us to congratulate the team and wish them luck. We've had telegram. The boys in the United Artists mail room in Culver City, California, sent a telegram. Ralph and Rochelle Willig, and there may be some others that will be delivered. We understand some of them came here to the Coliseum today, and others were delivered to the hotel. Again, Bob, thus far in this series, the first period really has been dominated by the Oilers, whereas periods two and three, the Kings have held their own against this very fast-skating Oiler club. Face off, Gretzky wins the draw, left point, Charlie Huddy, he shoots, saved by Lassard. Rebound along the left wing boards, Glenn Anderson with it. He tried to give it behind the net to Gretzky, broken up by the Kings, Dion, but the Kings can't clear it. Yari Curry at the blue line, tipped wide by Anderson. Just tipped it wide to the right side. Kings with it. Here's Darrell Evans to center ice. He shoots from there. A high shot. Gloved by Fuhr. Fuhr drops it down to Silton. And no score first period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Dion throws a check at Charlie Huddy. Puck taken by Glenn Anderson. Oilers zone. Anderson to Silton. And Silton and bumped into the boards by Darrell Evans. Evans bumped from behind by Anderson. Oilers come to center ice. Oilers with it. Glenn Anderson. He got the game winner last night. Offside. Called against the Edmonton Oilers. 18.46 to go in the first period. No score in the game. This game coming your way live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings hockey being brought to you by Canon. Quality cameras and photographic equipment that's so advanced it's simple. Canon, the official camera of the Los Angeles Kings. First real good scoring opportunity in the game. We played a minute 14. Went to the Oilers. Anderson just missing a deflection from 10 feet in front of Lassard. Kings send Bernie Nichols out. Jimmy Fox and Kelly of the Wings. Pass ahead to Kelly. Kelly at center ice. Bump there. Puck taken by the Oilers. Laurie Boschman. He's bumped at center ice. Puck picked up by J.P. Kelly. Kelly down the right wing. Into the Oilers zone. Kelly moving in. Kelly backhander wide. Rebound off the boards to Jimmy Fox. Fox pass. Right side. Nichols. He shoots. Saved by Fuhr. Just got his blocker out. Nichols with it again. Over to J.P. Kelly. Kelly throws a check in the Riviere in the Oilers zone. Puck taken by the Oilers. Pass up to center ice. Left wing. Chase down by Messier. Chartraw getting back. Messier shoots. Saved by Lassard. He had the angle covered. Chartraw knocks Messier down. Kings with it. Pass to center ice. Taken away by Randy Gregg. Gregg to Messier. Messier comes to the King line. Messier's pass. Stolen by Bernie Nichols. Nichols up to center ice. Shovels it down the right wing. Nichols catches up with it. Couldn't pull it around Gary LaRiviere in the Oilers zone. The LaRiviere ahead to Laurie Boschman. Boschman bumped at the blue line by Dean Hopkins. Hopkins goes into the Oilers zone. Tries to pick it up. Loose puck cleared to center ice now. 17.48 to go in the first period. No score. Kings with it. Here's Doug Smith. Over to Hopkins on the right wing. He flips it up in the air into the Oilers zone. Puck taken by Lee Fogelin. Fogelin for the Oilers. Gretzky is out. Pass ahead to Gretzky at the red line. Gretzky down the right wing. Gretzky into the Kings zone. Offside. Oilers at the King blue line. Wayne Gretzky Will putting that move on right at the blue line, and he put his left winger, Curry, offside. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Hi, John. We're at the Schlitz Brewery in Tampa, Florida, and twice a year we have a little get-together with over 25 retired beer men, people who have been involved in nearly every beer brewed in America. We talk about good beer and how to brew good beer. Schlitz, please. And we get to share the clean, refreshing taste of Schlitz beer with old friends. A good beer, Frank. Thank you, Larry. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. The Kings had a good scoring opportunity before we broke away from the base of the right circle. Bernie Nichols took a rink-wide pass, but Fuhr made the blocker save from 20 feet. Gretzky out for the Oilers. Kings win the draw. Larry Murphy to center ice to Doug Smith. Smith flips it into the Oilers zone. Chased in deep by Kevin Lowe. No score first period. Lowe checked by Doug Smith. Oilers win it. To center ice they come. Yari Curry. Curry down the right side. Drop pass. Glenn Anderson. Anderson right wing boards. His shot hit the goal post and came out. Puck comes out to Curry. Curry left wing boards. King zone. Larry Murphy picks it up. Murphy up to center ice. Now they puck taking shots. Wide. Rebound. The shot was by Bozek. It was wide. And back behind the play, Hopkins and Yari Curry were going at each other. Puck taken at center ice now by Anderson. His pass to the king line. Bozek breaks it up. He gives it at center ice to Dave Lewis. Lewis ahead to Doug Smith. Smith left wing. Oilers zone. Smith shoots. Safe. Rebound. Taylor couldn't put it in. He got knocked down. Puck taken by Lewis. Left point. He shoots. Safe. Rebound. Simmer. He scores. Charlie Simmer picked up the rebound and went to his backhand on the right side of the net. Put it under the crossbar, and the Kings lead one to nothing. 
Beautiful bit of stick handling by Charlie Simmer in front. He had a lot of time. He waited for Fuhrer to come out to try and cut down the angle. Then he just tucked the backhander in up high under the crossbar. Charlie Simmer, his third playoff goal here at 3.22 of the first period. So the Kings have broken out on top for the second time in this five-game series. They scored the first goal in the game last night. Of course, they lost 3-2. Lewis will get one assist. That's the only one they give. I thought maybe Taylor would get one. Puck taken by the Oilers in their own zone. And uh, as it's touched, we have an icing call against the Kings. 16-27 left first period. Kings won. Oilers nothing. Again, Simmer's third playoff goal. Lewis, who let the original shot go from left point, picks up his third playoff assist. Lewis kept the puck in. Shot save made down low by Fuhr, but Simmer right in the slot to pick up the rebound. Skated in about 10 feet and lifted the backhander in up high over the left shoulder of Fuhr. Gary Unger in for the faceoff against Dan Bonner to the left of Mario Lassard in the King zone. And they haven't dropped the puck yet. Bonner cruising in a little bit. They're going to move him out, and Charlie Simmer will come in. Simmer wins the draw. Taylor with it in the slot. The Oilers holding it at the blue line. Kevin Lowe, left point. His shot blocked. Back to Lowe. Lowe spin, shoots. Wide left side. Rebound under behind the net. Under pass. Over to Dave Hunter. Hunter, right wing board. Hunter still with it. Bumped by Mark Hardy in the King zone. Puck is up against the board. Simmer picks it up. Can't clear it. Fogel and shooting. Blocked in front of Lassard. Kirkjaw gives it to Hardy. Kirkjaw drags under down. Puck taken by the Kings and cleared the center ice. Fogel with it. Fogelin waits, passes Unger. Unger at the king line, can't hold it. Chartraw with it. Chartraw, fanned on his pass, gets it again. Now drives it into the Oilers zone. 15.51 to go. First period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Kings ahead, 1-0 on the goal by Simmer. The assist to Lewis at 3.22. Puck taken by Boschman at the red line for the Oilers. Boschman's pass. He gets in. Oh, there's a hook and a penalty to the Oilers at center ice by Pat Hughes. And that's one of those bad penalties. It'll be interference. We'll be back with a King power play in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings. Hockey Network. Early morning each day, McDonald's is cooking good. From Egg McMuffin to go, to hot shakes nice and slow. What's cooking? Fresh eggs scrambling. McDonald's is cooking good. Hot coffee perking. Perkin. McDonald's is cooking good. Before you start working. Yeah, McDonald's is cooking good. You deserve a break today at McDonald's. The game's first penalty to the Oilers, Pat Hughes. Two minutes for interfering with Darrell Evans right at center ice. The puck was nowhere near Evans, and Hughes just clipped him under the shoulder. Boschman cutting right in front of Evans, so the Kings, who have made good use of their power play in the series, their efficiency is 29.2% get the game's first power play. Kings 7 for 24 on the power play. Oilers with it now. Charlie Huddy back in his own zone. Up to center ice to Gretzky. The Kings have to be careful of him. He likes to hang around and get that short end of goal. They hit to Huddy. Huddy couldn't hold it. Now gets it back again. Backhander saved by Lassard. Rebound to Darrell Evans. Evans in the corner. King's zone. King's moving left to right. King's with a man advantage. Evans gives it to Mike Murphy on the right wing. Murphy's pass. Left wing to Dion. Dion down the middle goes Bozak. Dion with it. Back over to Murphy. Right side. Murphy at the right point over his own. Gives it to Evans. Back to Murphy. Right wing. He shoots. Saved by Fjord. Rebound. Dion. Bouncing. Plus he didn't get it. Oilers come back. Pass up the center ace. They've got Gretzky breaking to the King line. Gretzky with it. And offside. Oilers at the King blue line. So the Kings with another good chance, but just couldn't get it. Want to say... Mike Murphy wanted us to say hi to his wife, Yvonne Murphy. She's in Valley Presbyterian Hospital. Nothing serious, just in for a little checkup there, and Mike wants to say hi. This game with the Kings leading one to nothing, coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings hockey is brought to you by Republic Airlines, the official airline of the Kings. Nobody serves our Republic like Republic Airlines. J.P. Kelly along with Hunter of the Oilers. A little pushing and shoving as they get set up for the faceoff outside the Kings blue line. Dave Hunter has made his presence known in this series simply because not that he's scoring goals, but he's preventing Dave Taylor from getting a lot of scoring opportunities. Bernie Nichols ready on the faceoff with Unger. Nichols wins the draw into the Kings zone to Darrell Evans. Kings lead at 1-0. Kings on the power play for another minute 15. Here's Evans coming up to the King line. Cut off there by Hunter. Hunter bumped by Korob. Evans goes back behind the King net. 
Hunter comes in. Evans still with it. Pass up the left side to Bernie Nichols. Nichols to center right. Nichols to the red line. Nichols check there. Nichols still with it. It's poked away from him and up over the boards into the King bench. Faceoff is going to be at center ice just outside the Euler line. Well, as you can tell from these playoff games, Kings hockey really is the hottest thing on ice. And the best way to enjoy Kings action next season is with your season seats. Season seat holders enjoy many advantages and never worry about a sold out sign. Plus, you get priority playoff ticket ordering privileges. Find out now. Call 453-3571 for Kings season seats. Play in the way again. Korab in the King zone. Korab gives it to Darrell Evans. 49 seconds to go to King power play. Oilers take it away. Kings have not done much with this man advantage. Here's Hunger. Hunger at center ice gives it to Hunter. Hunter back to Hunger. He shoots. Flies to the left side. Puck comes off the boards. Held in by Huddy. Taken by Korab. Kings ahead 1-0. Korab gives it to Dion. Dion might have had a good chance moments ago, except the puck was bouncing on him. Here's Dion down the left side. Gets around the hip check. Dion moving in. Left wing. Dion in front. He shoots. Saved by Fuhr. Big save as Dion walked in. Puck taken by the Oilers. Driven off the boards out to center ice. Taken by Evans. 19 seconds to go in the King power play. Hardy with it at the King line. He can't find it. Hardy throws a check there. The loose puck is frozen against the board. Boy, a great opportunity for Marcel Dion. He did a great job to step around the check along the left wing boards just inside the Oilers blue line. He then cut right into the slot area to get more net to work with. Let the shot go, but Fuhr, as we've seen so many times in the series, stood his ground and made an outstanding save, and Bozak was tied up, so he couldn't get the rebound. This game coming to you live from the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton. Great performers at every position. You'll find them at your Toyota dealer. From the Sporty Celica to the rugged SR5 Sports Truck, just one drive will tell you what a feeling it is to drive a Toyota. Puck taken by the Kings. Larry Murphy over to Jay Wells. Wells pass up to Simmer. Simmer to Hopkins. Hopkins to the other line. Three seconds to go in the power play. Hopkins shooting safe. Rebound. Simmer shoots and scores! Charlie Simmer with his second goal. The rebound of Hopkins shot came right up the middle and Charlie Simmer was there and put it in and the Kings lead two to nothing. And that goal is scored at the exact time that Pat Hughes penalty expired. So technically it will not be a power play goal. Hughes penalty was expiring at 6.20. Simmer's goal at 6.20 is second of the game. Fourth of the season. Hopkins will get one assist. Dean let the original shot go from just inside the blue line on left wing. Saved by Fjord and again. Simmer was there for his second rebound goal of the game. Well, for the scissors, SCA shooting save, rebound taken right in front of the side by Larry Murphy. Ahead to Hopkins. Hopkins tips it out to center right. Chased down by Bozek. He couldn't get it. Taken away by Boston. Boston to Hunter. To Messier. Poked away at the blue line by Wells. Nice play. Here's Wells to center right. Wells shoots it into the Oilers zone. Into the corner. 2 nothing Kings. First period. Check thrown by Doug Smith. Puck comes around. The board's held in by Hopkins. His shot deflected. Taken by the Rivier. Here's Gary the Rivier to center right for the Oilers. 13.05 to go in the first period. The Rivier into the Kings zone. Pass down the move. Boston. By Larry Murphy. Great save by Lassard on Bossman. At the right point, the Rivier shooting tip, saved by Lassard. Loose puck driven off the board, taken by Smith. He pokes it out the center right. 12.48 to go, Lassard making a couple of great saves. Here he has to do it again. Here's Bossman moving in, saved by Lassard. Penalty to the Kings, Rick Chartra. 2 nothing Kings will be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It's happening now. Sears Days, a sale as great as its name. With spectacular 55% savings on this three-piece Craftsman player set. It helps you get the job done for just $9.99. And when it's time to play, include the Atari-compatible Sears Video Arcade. Sale priced at only $139.99. Just for fun, stock up on video game cartridges from Sears Super Assortment, including Pac-Man, Asteroids, and Breakaway. Every day's a value day during Sears Days. For a sale as great as its name, you can count on Sears. Let's pause 10 seconds right now for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. KHJ-TV, Channel 9, your RKO General Station, Los Angeles. <laughs> Oilers on the power play. Puck is in the Kings zone. Rolls in in front. Three shooting. Deflected wide by Lassard. I think he got a piece of it. Deflected it up over the glass into the crowd. Not only... Did he get a piece of it? I think it also grazed the outside of the near post. Curry set up all alone in front. 
Hardy tried to get possession, couldn't. Curry then with a quick snapshot from just inside the left faceoff circle. Gretzky on the draw, but it's taken by Nichols to Korab. He drives it to the right point. Held in by Silton and to Anderson. Anderson into Gretzky. Gretzky right wing corner. Back up the middle. Silton and shooting. Blocked and caught by Lassard. Blocked by Simmer. It broke his stick in two. Boy, Lassard, Nick, has come up big here with some fine saves in the first period. Pittsburgh has taken the lead over the Islanders 2-1 to one in the second period. Quebec leading Montreal 2-0 in the second. Here, it's the Kings 2, the Oilers nothing. 12-20 left, first period. Gretzky ready on the draw. In the Kings zone with Bernie Nichols. Puck comes in the corner. Nichols on the draw to Lewis. Can't clear it. Held in. Right point, Silton in. His pass deflects up in the air. He knocks it down the blue line. Taken away by Simmer. Simmer at center ice. Brings it back in the Kings zone. And loses it. Taken by Gretzky. Right side. Curry in deep. Right side pass. Oilers with it. Pass in front. Gretzky scores! with a goal after Charlie Simmer had it right near the blue line and just couldn't get it out to center ice. Anderson to Gretzky and he was all alone on the left side. Fifth of the playoffs for Wayne Gretzky, his 12th point. Glenn Anderson, who's played very well, also with a point, his fifth assist. He has seven points. Kings with it. Doug Smith tried to come down the middle, poked away. Steve Bozak shooting from the left side. It's deflected up into the crowd. With 11.50 to go in the first period, Kings 2 and the Oilers 1. We mentioned the Pittsburgh Penguins in front, 2-1 to one over the New York Islanders. That game in the second period, that is their fifth and final game. Mike Bullard will score the goal to give the Penguins their first lead. Shot from the point was deflected in front by Bullard. Back to this game here in Edmonton. Here's Gretzky with a Kings of push in. Gretzky to Anderson on the left wing. Anderson had to go off his stick, chases it down. Tried to center it, poked away by Lassard. Dave Lewis with it. Kings moving left to right, leading 2-1. Lewis to Boza, ahead to Smith. Smith at center right, right wing. Dave Taylor, Taylor, fanned on his shot. Puck is in deep, Taylor shoots, saved by Fuhr. And he hangs on to it. Bozek was right there, but he got spun around. Dave Taylor just for a split second, I don't think realized the puck was in his skates. He came out of that mix-up right at the near circle to the left of Fuhr and was right in on Grant Fuhr, but by the time he let the backhander go, he really was in a bit too tight. Simmer's second goal at 6.20, his fourth of the playoffs. Hopkins assists three and Wells, his third assist. And then Gretzky getting the Oilers on the board at 7.59, a power play goal with Chartres off, his fifth, Anderson and Yari Curry with the assist. That line, Gretzky, Anderson, and Curry continues to really plague the Los Angeles Kings in this series. Dion ready on the draw to the left of Grant Fuhr against Laurie Boschman. Dion wins the draw. Right point. Larry Murphy couldn't get it. Loose puck. Oilers with it. Up to center ice. Pass ahead to Mark Messier. Messier to the King line. Way offside. The Oilers as Dave Lumley was offside. 2-1 Kings and this game is coming to you live from the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton, Alberta. Mark C. Bloom, Southern California's leading tire dealer with over 50 stores to serve you. Mark C. Bloom, they take care of your car from the tires up. Well, we've had 20 shots on goal already. We haven't even played nine minutes. 11 shots for the Oilers, nine for the Kings. Both goaltenders coming up with some big saves again here in the first period of game five. Kings had a 2-0 lead. Oilers have come back on a goal by Gretzky. That would be his 97th of the season and the playoffs combined. Puck taken by the Oilers. Here's Greg at center ice over to the Riviere. He drives into the Kings zone. The side couldn't cut it off. It comes over now. Left point taken by Greg. His shot tipped in front by Boschman. Boschman goes into the boards to pick it up. Boschman passing in front. Intercepted by Daryl Evans. Evans for the Kings. Gives it to Dion at center right. Here's Dion. Back over to Evans. Right side. Evans moving in. Backhander wide to the right. Rebound to Dion. Dion couldn't reach for it in the corner. Loose puck taken by Evans at the blue line. His spinning shot blocked by Boschman to center ice to Messier. Messier to the King line. Messier to Boschman. Left wing. He shoots. Stick save by Lassard. He covers up on it. And Jay Wells takes Boschman out of the play. And Messier has a few words with Wells. 10.35 that first period. This series is tied at two games each. 
the winner will go on to play for the division championship against Vancouver starting Thursday and Friday in Vancouver. Again, the other games, we told you Pittsburgh is ahead. 2-1 to one over the Islanders in the second. Quebec still leading Montreal 2-0 in the second. Gretzky ready on the draw with Nichols. Nichols wins the draw. Bernie gives it to J.P. Kelly. Kelly up the center ice for the Kings. Kelly backhands it into the other zone. It rolls toward Fewer. Fewer makes the stop on it. Rides it behind the net to Charlie Huddy. Huddy's pass off the boards. Comes off on the right side to Yari Curry. Curry. Been a thorn in the side of the Kings in this series just as much as Gretzky. Pass up the center ice to Gretzky. Gretzky, return pass. Intercepted by Hardy. Hardy to Kelly. Poked away by Silton and offside as he flipped it into the Kings zone to Yari Curry. Well, the greatest show on earth is coming to the Forum as Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, come to the Forum July 21st through August 4th. You can see this great family fun for all ages as Ringling Brothers Circus returns to the Forum. Tickets on sale now for him, box office and Ticketron. Bernie Nichols wins the draw. He's been good on faceoff tonight. Back to Fox. Fox tried to give it to Nichols. Poked away. Comes to center ice. Oilers. Gretzky gives it to Glenn Anderson. Anderson bumped by Hardy. Anderson with it. Moving in. Behind the net. Anderson pass up the middle. Curry is checked hard by Hardy. Nice check as Curry was getting set to shoot. Puck taken at center ice. Bernie Nichols almost intercepted it. Huddy with it for the Oilers. 9.48 to go. First period. 2-1 Kings lead. Here's a pass to Glenn Anderson. Rolls off his stick to Chartra. Chartra's pass up the center ice. Broken up by the Oilers. Huddy back in the King zone. Anderson, left point. Anderson with it. Taken away by Chartra. Clears it to center ice. Huddy with it. Charlie Huddy picks it up in the neutral zone. Puts it back into the King zone. Nine and a half minutes to go. First period. Puck taken by Chartra. Behind the King net. Chartra up the left side. Comes across the King line. Chartra from center ice. Drives it into the Oilers zone. Kings will get a line change. Simmer comes out. He's got two goals already. Taylor is out. Danny Bonner at center. Lewis and Korab back. Here comes Dave Hunter across the King line. He shoots. Blocking glove saved by Lassard. Puck taken by Korab. Up to Taylor on the right wing. Didn't get it. Kevin Lowe. Pass in front. Intercepted by Korab. He goes back behind the King net. Korab passing to the King blue line to Taylor. Taylor up to center ice. His pass stolen by Curry. Curry's pass to Gretzky. Gretzky at center ice. Can't hold it. Tipped away by Simmer. Picked up at center ice by Yari Curry. Curry back in the zone, stolen by Taylor. Taylor trying to get down the middle. Curry knocked him down. Fewer falls down. Puck taken by Bonner. Pass up the middle. Nobody there. Taylor just couldn't get his stick on it. As Fewer was scrambling to get back. Pass to center ice, broken up by Dave Lewis. He gets tripped by Gretzky. Puck picked up at center ice by Fogelin for the Oilers. Drives it into the King zone. Eight and a half minutes left to go. First period. Low with a hard check on Korab. And an icing call against the Oilers. And now Korab has a few words with Kevin Lowe. 2-1 Kings, 8.29 to go, first period. This game coming your way live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings hockey being brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Southern California, a 1984 Olympic sponsor helping to make Olympic dreams come true. McDonald's. An update in the third period on Long Island. Pittsburgh now leads the Islanders 3-1. to The Islanders won the first two games of that series in New York. Pittsburgh came back to win their two at home, and now they lead in New York 3-1 to in the third period. Faceoff will be to the right of Grant Fuhrer. Kings have Doug Smith at center, Bozek and Hunter back, and Don Perry wants to talk with referee Andy Van Helleman. Now, I'm not sure what all that's about. I think they're uh, talking to a policeman down there, and there may be some fan interference here. And Van Helleman standing right at the King bench as he talked with the security guard. Fever pitch has run high ever since the series returned to Los Angeles when the King fans just turned out in great numbers, two sellout crowds, and they got on Wayne Gretzky. They waved white handkerchiefs at him because of his complaining about call after call by the officials, and uh, the fans up here took exception to that, and so we have had fevers running high, and now two policemen are moving down to talk with Andy Van Helleman, the referee, right to the side of the King bench, and I think Andy's saying, I'd like you guys to stand right here. <laughs> Going to keep one policeman. Now let's see. Now another one comes down. And one will be stationed right to the side of the King bench. 
All right, off the draw. Kings with it. Bozak, his shot blocked, and it's going to be picked up by the Oilers. 2-1, Kings lead. Oilers Messier at his own blue line. Gave it to the Riviera, went off his skate into the Oilers zone. Here's Randy Gregg. He gives it away to Doug Smith. Smith down the left side, bumped by Lumley. Puts it behind the net. Bozak goes for it. Smith tried to dig it out. Taken by Randy Gregg again. Greg with it for the Oilers. Ahead to Lumley on the right wing. His pass stolen by Hopkins at center right. Hopkins puts it back down the right wing side into the Oilers zone. Chased down by Smith. Smith tried to pass behind the net. It's intercepted by Lumley. Lumley to Greg. Greg in the Oilers zone. His pass is held in by the Kings by Jay Wells, but now taken away by the Oilers. Here's Messier. Messier to the King line. Can't get around Hopkins. Hopkins takes it away. Hopkins gives it to Bozek. Bozek with Smith. Bozek left wing. He shoots. Blocked by the Riviere. Rebound to Smith. Tipped away by Randy Gregg. Taken by Lumley. Lumley's pass is in race to Messier. Left wing King's off. Messier moving in to Bossman. Bossman shut by Hardy. Bossman's pass behind the net. Hopkins goes for it. Hopkins in the King's zone. Left wing. Ahead to Smith. Smith at center ice. Can't get it. Hopkins knocks down Lumley. Loose puck. Larry Murphy with it for the Kings. He gives it to Doug Smith. Smith trying to center it to Evans. Broken up by Unger in the Oilers zone. 7.15 to go. First period. 2-1 Kings. Both King goals by Charlie Simmer. Oiler goal by Gretzky. Here's Gary Unger outside the blue line with a drive and a stick save by Lassard. Puck taken by Chartraw. Oilers in a line change. Chartraw passing up the center race to Evans. He tips it into the Oilers zone. Seven minutes left to go in the first period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Puck taken by the Oilers. Third to center race. Taken away by Hardy. Hardy bumped there by Unger. Oilers pick it up. Hardy blocks it. Gives it to Evans. Evans pass. Stolen by the Oilers. Hughes drives it in. Offside Oilers. They were standing offside on the play with 6.46 to go in the first period. Dave Hunter was offside. Again, both clubs with good scoring opportunities here in this first period. We had three goals before the game was eight minutes old. Charlie Simmer giving the Kings a 2-0 lead. His third and fourth of the playoffs. And then Gretzky got one back on the power play with Chartrop in the penalty box for high sticking. The Oilers have outshot the Kings 13-10. 646 left first period. Kings leading 2-1. Dion comes out at center. Daryl Evans, the left wing. The right wing is Mike Murphy. Back on defense, Hardy and Chartra. Gary Unger moves in to face off against Marcel Dion. And Dion wins the draw. The Kings have done a good job winning faceoffs early in this game. Huck comes in to Chartra. He flips it high on the air to center ice. It'll be a two-line pass if the Kings touch it. It's taken away by the Oilers. Pass up to the other line to Huddy. Huddy shovels it on the right side. Oilers with it. Left side pass Dave Hunter. He shoots wide to the right side. Rebound to Darrell Evans. Evans clears it to center ice. Dion takes it. Here's Dion to the other line. It rolled off his stick. He jumps around Huddy. Dion. Oh, he had Murphy coming down the middle and just couldn't get it to him. Unger tips it. Unger and Murphy go into the board. Huck is picked up by the Oilers. Held in by Dion. Now cleared to center ice. Right in front of the Oiler bench. Loose puck. Huddy to Unger. Unger to the King line. Stops. His shot deflected. Dion backs it. Taken by the Oilers. Hunter, his shot wide. Rebound behind the net. Oilers with it. Hughes up the middle. Tipped away by Evans. Over to Dion. Dion ahead now to Mike Murphy. Murphy to center ice. Tips it in the Oilers zone. Change of change on the fly. 5.50 left to go and a little activity behind the puck that time. Pass up the center right, taken away by J.P. Kelly. Kelly tips it into the Oilers zone. Anderson chases it down. Anderson drops it off. Fox intercepts. Fox pass up the middle. Evans, or excuse me, Nichols with a shot. He didn't get much wood on it. Puck taken by the Oilers. Taken by Glenn Anderson. He gets it away. Jimmy Fox, Oilers zone. To the blue line. Held in. Lewis with a shot. Deflected. Gretzky with it. Here's Gretzky for the Oilers. His pass up the center right. Right in front of the Oilers bench. He is poked into the King zone by Charlie Huddy. 5-19 to go. First period. Kings 2, Oilers 1. Here's Dave Lewis. Clearing it home. There's an interference as Fogelin ran right into J.P. Kelly. Fans are booing, but that was so obvious. Kelly did not touch the puck at all. And, of course, you cannot run into a player unless he was the last to touch the puck. And the Kings will have a power play opportunity. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Let's get cracking, Tony. Introducing the 1982 edition of the best-selling car in the world. The Toyota Corolla. Why is it the best-selling car in the world? Maybe people know that they can depend on it, and that gives them a very good feeling. The 1982 Toyota Corolla. Depend on it. Corolla! 
Lee Fogelin for interfering with J.P. Kelly inside the Kings blue line. He gets two minutes at 14.51. The puck was flipped off the boards by Dave Lewis, and Kelly nowhere near the puck was interfered with. Reminder, immediately following this Kings game, the Lakers will be on the air on Channel 9. Puck taken by the Oilers in the Oilers zone and cleared by Gretzky back into the Kings zone. All right, the Oilers have taken another penalty. Kings now leading 2-1, trying to get on the board with the power play. Here's Charlie Simmer. He's got both King goals. He tried to give it to Dion right wing. It's out of his reach. Low with it. Clears it ahead, and it is clear to center race to Gretzky. You're going to have it. Here's Le Riviere down the middle. He shoots save by Lassard. Mario Lassard with a big save as defenseman Gary Le Riviere was all alone. Where did the Kings go? They had the extra man. Everybody was over near the King bench, and Lassard came up big. It's still 2-1 Kings. Le Riviere was all alone at center right. Here's Evans with it. He gives it to Dion. Passes back to the King line to Hardy. Hardy over to Evans. Evans at the King line. Back over to Hardy. The order's really putting the pressure on the King power play. Here's Hardy across the other line to Dion. Back to Hardy. Hardy is bumped and the puck cleared the blue line. Held in by Daryl Evans down the middle. He shoots. Score! Daryl Evans scores a power play goal. The Kings lead three to one. What a series for this rookie. His fifth goal of the playoffs, his ninth point. He leads all Kings point producers. He just wristed one from the top of the slot about 45 feet out. Kevin Lowe was screening Grant Fuhr. Fuhr never moved until the reaction from the crowd and the puck was behind him. Daryl Evans beating Fuhr up high who was screened by Kevin Lowe. An unassisted goal. The Oilers having problems in their own zone here in this first period. Unassisted. The power play goal at 15.53 for Daryl Evans, his fifth. Up taken by Boschman at center ice. Ahead to Messier. Tips it in the King's zone. Jimmy Fox back to get it. He drives to the blue line. Held in again by the Oilers. Passed in deep by Huddy. Taken by the King. Starts off behind the King net. Starts off. Drives it off the boards. Up on the left wing to J.P. Kelly. Clears it to center ice. 3.45 to go, first period. Here come the Oilers, flipping it down into the King zone. Lassard pokes it along the boards. Loose putt, Messier went for it. He didn't get it. Jimmy Fox ahead now to Nichols. Nichols to Kelly. Fox gets knocked down behind the play. Kelly shoots it into the Oilers zone. Three and a half minutes to go in the first period. We'll have an interview with one of the Kings at the end of this period. Here the Oilers with it. Bossman at center ice. His pass to the King line. Gilton in his shot deflected up into the crowd. 3.18 to go in the first period. King goal. Simmer his third from Lewis. Simmer his fourth from Hopkins and Wells. And Evans his fifth unassisted. This game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. King's hockey is brought to you by Slits, the master brewer's brew. Just one taste and you'll know behind every slit is a man who knows his beer. Slits. Face off out near the blue line of the Kings, just inside the line. It comes out to center ice. Paul Coffey with it. Coffey passes over to the Riviera. Coffey did not play much in Los Angeles the other night. Last night, puck is in deep. Doug Smith comes in to take it away from Anderson. Pass over to Bozak. Bouncing puck held in by the Riviera. Bozak pokes it to the blue line, and it comes out to center ice. Taken by Smith. His pass broken up by Curry. To Coffey to Curry at the island at the Oiler line. Puck comes to Glenn Anderson. He tips to the king line, taken away by Larry Murphy. Murphy's pass up to center ice. Dean Hopkins with it. Flips it in the Oilers zone. 2.45 left. First period. 3-1 King. Here's Glenn Anderson trying to get down the middle. He shoots. Goes on the side. Rebound. Picked up by Murphy to Hopkins. Hopkins passing up the center ice. Off the boards to the Oiler line. 2.30 left. First period. 3-1 King. Oilers have outshot the King. 14-11. King at center ice. Puck flipped into the King zone. Murphy and Smith bump into each other. Pass comes off the boards, and we have a whistle as it hops up into the King bench. 2.20 left here in the first period. 3-1 Kings lead. The winner will play the Vancouver Canucks for the division championship. That'll be a best four out of seven starting Thursday and Friday in Vancouver. And the next two games would be Sunday night and Monday night in either Los Angeles or Edmonton. Face off to the right of Mario Lassard. Dan Bonner against Gary Unger. And 
still. They don't drop the puck, and they're going to kick Unger and Bonner out. Pat Hughes comes in for the Oilers. Charlie Simmer for the Kings. 2.20 left. First period, 3-1 Kings lead. On the draw, Simmer over to Korab, and again the Kings win an important faceoff. Korab puts it up over the boards into the crowd, so now the faceoff going to be back inside the King blue line. At the end of this period, Nick will try to get Charlie Simmer, and I say try because you never know uh, whether the players need to get to the dressing room right away or not, but he will attempt to have Charlie Simmer on to talk about his two goals in this first period. 3-1 Kings lead, Danny Bonner against Unger on the draw. Inside the King blue line again. And again the Kings win the draw. Bonner to Dave Lewis. Lewis to Sonny Rice. Lewis flips it in deep into the Oilers zone. Bonner chases it in with Kevin Lowe. Bonner jumps in. Lowe takes it away. Gives it to Unger. Unger behind the Oilers net. His pass tipped away by Simmer. Simmer right side. Looking for the hat trick. Simmer in the slot. Couldn't get a shot off. He got checked from behind. And the Oilers clear it to Sonny Rice. Here's Korab with him. He gives it to Taylor. Here's Taylor passing back down the right wing into the Oilers zone. 149 left to go in the first period. Kings leading 3-1. Pass over to Pat Hughes. Hughes tips it over to Fogland. Fogland pass stolen at center right by the Kings. Taylor couldn't wait long enough for the Kings to get on side. Taylor had to wait and then got bumped by Lowe. And they have a few words. 141 to go as Don Perry and Brad Selwood, the King coaches, look on from behind the King bench. Kings leading 3-1. Charlie Simmer got the first two goals to give him a 2 nothing lead. Gretzky scored for the Oilers, a power play to make it 2-1. And then Evans, a power play goal for the Kings. That made it 3-1 Kings. Quebec leading Montreal, 2-0 in the second. Pittsburgh leading the Islanders, 3-1 in the third. Those, of course, also are the fifth in deciding games in those series. Here's Dion. He wins the draw from Gretzky, and Chartraw fires it into the Oilers' zone. Puck comes around the boards. Evans at the left point to Dion. Dion flips it in deep and up over the glass on his backhand with a minute 31 to go now in the first period. Oilers 14 shots, Kings 11. Face off will be moved outside the Oilers' blue line. Dion at center. Mike Murphy the right wing. Left wing is Darrell Evans. Chartron Hardy back. Oilers win the draw this time as Gretzky wins it. Now at center ice, loose puck comes through the Kings. Here's Dion with Evans. Dion. Evans moves down the middle. Dion shoots. Save Evans. Shot on the rebound just went wide. Dion took it behind the net. Lost it to Charlie Huddy. Good chance there for the Kings. Dion tried to take it from Huddy. Couldn't do it. Huddy gives it to Gretzky. Gretzky's pass. Deflects over to Dion. Right side in front to Murphy. He shoots. Saved by Fuhrer. And he covers up. Murphy from a steep angle on the right side of the net got a shot but Fuhrer, hugging the goalpost, made the save. So the Kings getting more chances now. Huddy had the puck, but his pass up to Gretzky, bounced off Gretzky's stick, and the Kings, Marcel Dion took it away. Evans headed for the net. Dion got a shot. Murphy got the rebound, but couldn't put it in. 106 to go, first period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Kings leading 3-1. Bernie Nichols out to face off against Gretzky to the left of Grant Fuhrer. Kings would like to add another one before this period's over. Off the draw this time. It comes into the corner. Bernie Nichols goes for it. Oilers zone. Kicks it to Dean Hopkins. Hopkins behind the net. Lost it to Le Riviere. Le Riviere loses it to Bozak. Bozak against the boards. He's bumped there. He goes into the corner. Bozak still with it. Gives it to Bernie and Nichols. Nichols centers it. Intercepted by Anderson. 49 seconds ago in the first period. Here come the Oilers. Anderson to the King line. Anderson left side. Anderson his shot wide. Penalty against the Kings coming up. Penalty. Here's the Riviere with a drive. Saved by Lassard. And the whistle blows. Penalty to the Kings. Interference. Interference called against the Kings. Looks like Dean Hopkins going to go with 38 seconds left here in the first period. Kings leading 3-1. Now the Oilers would like to get another goal before this period ends. 19.22, the time of the penalty to Hopkins for interference. Remember, Nick Nixon standing by to talk with Charlie Simmer right at the end of this period. And we'll also be talking upstairs with uh, Gary Dornhofer, who is on the Stanley Cup team at Philadelphia. Here's Bernie Nichols, buddy on the draw. Nichols and Bonner up front to try and kill the penalty now. 
And Dave Lewis and Jerry Korab back on the fence. Face off to the left of Mario Lasar. J.P. Kelly getting nice on his neck down on the bench. Nichols ready on the draw against Mark Messier. Kretzky's lined up right on the edge of the face-off circle. Dan Bonner's all over him. Bonner and Kretzky fencing a little bit with their sticks as they get set for the face-off. Now Korab skates offside to delay things a little bit. Now Nichols spins around. Now he gets ready. Important face-off here. Oilers with it. Up the slot. Left point. Paul Coffey shoots. He scores! From the left point, Bernie Nichols tried to block it. That didn't take long, and the Oilers are back in the game. It's the Kings three, the Oilers one. First playoff goal for Paul Coffey. Siltonen will get an assist. And Messier. At 1926, four seconds it took for the Oilers to score that goal. Oilers with it again. 21 seconds to go in the first period. Puck taken by Doug Smith at center right. Smith can't hold it. Oilers with it. Anderson, King zone. Down the right side to Gretzky. Gretzky back to Mitchell. His shot blocked and a save by Lassard. Loose puck. Comes up the middle. Oilers hold it in. Seven seconds to go in the period. Taken away by Mike Murphy. Can't clear it. Four seconds in the period. Pass by Coffey. Broken up by Dave Lewis. That's going to do it. The period's over. Kings lead 3-2. We'll be back in two minutes. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Canon presents a new camera. John, I'm working. Can I have my camera back? Just one more. It's Canon's new <laughs> AE1 program. This new Canon AE1 program, super. Just one more. No matter how tough the light, the new program mode makes it easy to shoot like a pro. Here, get to work. The new AE1 program. Draw in the ball. And... So advanced. It's simple, and more of both. Canon, the official camera of the Los Angeles Kings. I remember the night it started and how it all began. We toasted life in our special way. Here's to Grimari, a friend along the way. A taste of love, a taste of dreams come true. Grubari, a great companion for 75 years. Here's tonight, Grubari one and you. Nobody serves our republic like republic. Nobody flies our country like we do. From sea to shining sea. Where would you like to be? Nobody serves a petty city just for you. Nobody serves a people like republic. With a small town smile and a big city star. You know, there's always been good investments and uh, bad investments. Today, a great investment is a great Western tax-free account. The net return is probably better than any money fund. And better yet, it's risk-free because it's fully insured. Yeah. Great Western savings for a tax-free, risk-free investment. Nick Nixon back here at the Northlands Coliseum between periods one and two. The Los Angeles Kings are in front three to two in this the fifth and deciding game. The Kings took the lead at 322 on a goal by Charlie Simmer. Charlie made it two to nothing. Gretzky got one back for the Oilers to make it two to one. Daryl Evans regained the two goal lead at three to one with his fifth of the playoffs. And then Paul Coffey, who hasn't played much in this series, got the Oilers to within one in the dying seconds of period one. Charlie, I thought the Kings played very well in that first period from the standpoint that they bottled up the Oilers time and time again in Edmonton zone. Well, we knew we had to come out tonight because it's like we were in L.A. You have that emotional high for about the first 10 minutes and you, you come out flying. And I think if you you get sort of depressed and uh, confused if you don't do anything in the first 10 minutes because the crowd's behind you all the way. And then uh, 
all of a sudden nothing's happening. So then, then he tried to do a little bit too much yourselves, I think, and we just uh, tried to play our same game, send in the four checkers and uh, and try to ball them up, you know, at least for the first ten. And uh, if we got any goals, it was bonus after that. Both of your goals, I guess you can consider yourself in the right place at the right time. The first goal, Dave Lewis kept the puck in at left point. Lewis let the shot go. Save was made by Fuhr. Well, I was just coming off the bench, and Fuhrer gives up a lot of rebounds, about 20 feet out there. And I just came out, and he was down, and I just uh, pulled him over to his, uh, to his left and just tried to get it up as high as I could. That was your third playoff goal. Dave Lewis with a lone assist for Dave, his third point. And then Pat Hughes was in the penalty box for interference, and although this technically will not be a power play goal, they all count anyway. Well, that's the uh, same type of play where uh, you just break for the net and hope for the rebound, and uh, the last couple games, the pucks have been bouncing by us, and uh, so this time it was the right place at the right time, and they take advantage of it. I thought the Kings did well by taking advantage of their power play after Gretzky got the Oilers to within one. Daryl Evans then scored, and it appeared that Grant Fuhrer was screened on the play. Well, uh, I think uh, Kura, Curry uh, was trying to clear the puck, and uh, Daryl was in the right place, and uh, what we try to do is bottle up in front of Fuhrer so he can't see it and just try to put it by him. The Edmonton Oilers have to have a lift uh, with that late goal in the first period. Uh, what is it like now, as far as the Kings are concerned, going into the room, having given up that goal? I guess you have to look at it from a positive side. You're up by a goal after one period. Well, we uh, we wanted to be tied or a hit at the end of the one, and uh, I think it goes the same thing for the, the start of this period. We have to be strong because that's when the fans are the loudest, and that's when they're pumped up the most. So if we can shut them down for this 10 minutes, I think the, the pressure will be on them, and we can just try to play our game. Charlie Simmer, our guest between periods. Charlie with the first two Kings goals. The Kings leading by a goal 3-2 to two after 20 minutes. Bob will be back with more intermission activities. In two minutes, this is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. We ask people what they think of Carefree Sugarless Gum's new taste. New taste? Great. Still sugarless? No way! <laughs> Isn't Carefree's improved taste terrific? Mm-hmm. And it's still sugarless. Mm-hmm. Tastes too good to be sugarless. Isn't that improved taste great? Great new taste. But if Carefree's still sugarless, I'll miss Universe. When we say Carefree's improved, it's improved. And when we say it's sugarless, it's sugarless. Can I try a stick? Remember the good old days when the telephone system wasn't figured out till after the building was built? Well, GTE presents the good new days. Today, we have people who actually help you plan your phone system before and during the building's construction. And our specialists work with you as part of the team. Almost. <laughs> Presenting the new Toyota Supra at Dan Gurney. It takes the right stuff to make a great performance car. Come ride with Dan Gurney and see. It's quick off the line and the power just keeps coming on. That's the twin cam six cylinder fuel injected engine talking. Now let's see the independent four wheel suspension in action. Very nice. Handles well. The big tires and rack and pinion steering have a lot to do with that. And it also performs inside. Take a look at this wraparound sports seat. And the convenience of having everything where you can see it or touch it. But the new Supra has much more. It has heart. It has the right stuff. Nice brakes. The all-new Toyota Celica Supra. That's the right stuff. Oh, what a feeling. Supra. Bob Miller back at the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton, Alberta. It's 3-2 Kings at the end of one. With the five goals in the first period, these two teams have now scored 44 goals in the series. That's an NHL record for the most goals by both teams in a five-game series. One guy who knows all about the pressure of playing in the Stanley Cup playoffs is a guy who was on a Stanley Cup winner with the Philadelphia Flyers, Gary Dornhofer, now a broadcaster with Hockey Night in Canada and also uh, doing uh, the Edmonton Oilers games here in Alberta during the year. Dorney, thanks for joining us, and I'll tell you, as we said earlier, this is the game nobody here thought was going to be played, and the Kings have come out and really taken it to the Oilers. Well, I think both teams, Bob, showed a lot of character in this series. Uh, L.A., how they keep coming back, it's, it's amazing. I, I have uh, nothing but respect for the whole organization, and 
you know, that's what it's all about. You forget about the regular season, how the teams have played. It's a, it's a new series that get, that gives teams a chance to show what they're really made of. And the guy that I point the finger to, it has to be Coach Don Perry. He's done a marvelous job, uh, he and Brad Selwood, and these players are working for him. You know, everybody gets so excited. Here we're only in the first round. You went all the way to the Stanley Cup. It, it doesn't get any easier, does it? Well, this is nail-biting time, but uh, you asked players if they would give up an opportunity of playing in a, uh, a final game for a series. I mean, this is what it's all about. The ability to handle pressure, uh, the ability to make the good plays when, when you're under the gun. And, uh, you know, it was a little nerve-wracking in that first period because uh, both teams made costly mistakes that resulted in goals. We've already talked about the first two King goals by Charlie Simmer. Then Wayne Gretzky got a power play goal from Anderson and Curry at 7.59. And Gretzky was all alone on the left side of the net and got a nice pass. Actually, Bob, again, it was Charlie Simmer. He had the puck in his own zone, and he tried to stick handle out. But Anderson, he's had an exceptional year. In fact, this is the line that's the key to how far the Oilers are going to go. They've been dominant all, all year, and tonight, again, they're carrying the play. But a good play, Anderson. Gretzky, all he had to do is deflect it in the net. I know you've seen it before that players of a little uh, known ability come on in a playoff series and we have one uh, in this series in Daryl Evans who just keeps scoring. He had a power play goal unassisted to give the Kings a 3-1 lead. I thought Daryl was the third baseman for the uh, <laughs> Atlanta, the, the ball Braves. club, the Atlanta Braves. But again, it was a giveaway this time by Curry. Now watch the, uh, the snapshot, the wrist shot. It was screen. Actually, Kevin Lowe got in front of uh, Grant Fuhrer but I, I like what I see in Evans. He can shoot the puck. It's always on the net. Look, at if he didn't have the ability, he wouldn't be playing on the power play, especially a point, which is a hard position to play. That's right. He has a strong shot, and Don Perry kept telling him, get that shot on the net every time, whether it's saved or not. That's a good example right there. That's right. And then it took the Oilers only four seconds to score a power play goal by Paul Coffey, who's been very little used in this series. Well, Coffey has been suffering from uh, giveaway-itis, and this time he gets a good feed from Risto Siltonen, and again, we talk so much the importance of face-offs. Now, Messier got the draw perfectly. I thought for sure that this puck deflected off the skate of Jerry Korab and went uh, by Lassard. Bob, as this game goes on, we will only know how important that goal was. Well, let's talk about another series you covered, and I said you must be uh, upset at your employers. You had the first two games here. They took you off this series when it moved to Los Angeles, and you missed the greatest single comeback in one game in Stanley Cup history because you went over to cover Montreal and Quebec, and here tonight in the deciding game, Quebec leading Montreal. You know, I'm amazed at what's happening uh, in the playoffs this season. Uh, the Nordiques, they played a, a solid game. They won 2-1 to one against Montreal. They just shut the Canadians down completely. They skated with them. They hit them all night, and they were uh, very deserving in that victory. The next night, the Canadians came back. You know, it's a, an organization with a lot of pride, and they showed it to win 6-2. to two. So everybody figured, well, the Canadians for sure in the fifth and deciding game. That isn't the case. The Nordiques, again, playing a very strong game and could upset the Canadians. And quickly a comment on what's going on in Long Island. The Islanders going for three in a row, and they're down three to one. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Maybe the owner, by uh, refunding the tickets, got the players really upset. But I understand, Bob, that the, the, the Islanders are behind three to one, and there's only about ten minutes left to go in that hockey game. So who knows what's going to happen. We could have three upsets uh, in this round. Well, it's an exciting time, and we thank you for taking time out tonight uh, from your broadcast to talk with us. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, Bob, enjoy it. Gary Darnhofer of Hockey Night in Canada. The Kings lead at 3-2. We'll be back with a second period in two minutes. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It's happening now. Sears Day, a sale as great as its name. With 10 to 50% savings on all furniture and bedding. Half off any size Sears Opedic Elegance. Twin size only $99.88. Save a bold $200 on this colonial style sofa, only $299.88. Sears Special Purchase Towel Value of the Year is the same size and weight as our best $10 towel, yet it's only $3.99. Every day is a value day during Sears Days. For a sale as great as its name, you can count on Sears. I'd hold you all night, any day of the year. The way that you taste, I love you, my dear. Whoa! Whoa. Why don't you get into the groove? One sip will make it clear, the bull got more taste than beer. Yeah. 
Success is a funny word. To some people, it means a big title, a big office, big money. They read the Wall Street Journal because it can help them achieve that success better than any other publication. But there's another way to measure success. Not in money or rank or power, but in the satisfaction of doing your job better than it's ever been done before, better than anyone else can do it. The Wall Street Journal can help you achieve that kind of success, too. Every business day, it delivers news and information of anything happening in business that can affect you, your company, your career. Exclusive information you can use to do your job better than it's ever been done before. For success, as you measure success. Get all the business news you need when you need it. Get the Wall Street Journal delivered every business day for less than $1.60 a week. That's just $41 for 26 weeks. Call toll-free 800-228-5509. That's 26 weeks for less than $1.60 a week. Call 800-228-5509 now. Nick Nixon with Bob Miller back here at the Northlands Coliseum. 3-2, to two, the Kings lead the Oilers after the first period. A look at the scoring summary. Charlie Simmer, the game's first goal, is third of the playoffs from Dave Lewis at 3.22, made it 1-0. Simmer again, this time on a rebound of Hopkins' shot for his fourth of the playoffs. Hopkins and Wells assisting. That goal at 6.20 made it 2 to nothing. Pat Hughes' penalty was expiring right at that moment. At 7.59, Gretzky got the Oilers on the board with a power play goal. His fifth, tipping in a center ice pass from Glenn Anderson. Yari Curry also assisting. That made it 2-1, to one, Kings. The Kings got that one back at 15.53 on the power play. Darrell Evans kept the puck inside the Oiler blue line. A lot of giveaways in that first period. And Evans wristed one over the right shoulder of Fuhr, unassisted his fifth playoff goal. Kings led 3-1. Then with Hopkins in the penalty box. For interference, Paul Coffey scores his first playoff goal at 1926 from Siltonen and Messier. And the Kings have the one-goal lead at 3-2. Shots on goal, the Oilers had 17, the Kings had 13. A very wide open first period, basically because both clubs had trouble throughout the opening 20 minutes with the puck in their own zone. We have some updates. Pittsburgh now leading the Islanders 4-1 to one in the third period. Penguins 4, the Islanders 1 in the third period. Montreal has now tied up Quebec at two apiece with seven minutes left in the third period. Robert Picard got the tying goal moments ago. So as it stands right now, with Minnesota being eliminated by Chicago, all three division winners that are left, Edmonton, the Islanders, and Montreal, are in jeopardy of losing in the first round. The Edmonton Oilers coming out on the ice. The Kings are already out with Mario Lassard in goal. The Kings will set up and defend to our right. Grant Fuhr for the Oilers will set up and defend to our left. Power plays have certainly played a big factor in this series. The Kings, one of two tonight, now are eight of 26 on the power play, which is over 30% in the regular season. They were just 21%. The Oilers have two power play goals tonight in two opportunities. So their power play, which had been struggling in the first four games, just two of 16 coming into tonight, has now picked up their percentage. They are now four of 18. Gretzky will start at center for the Oilers. Marcel Dion for the Los Angeles Kings. Gretzky leads all performers in this series in points. He now has a total of 12 with five goals and seven assists. The referee again, Andy Van Helleman, standing at the red line. And here with the second period, once again, Bob Miller. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Kings moving right to left. Kings win the draw. Dave Lewis with it. Both teams at full strength. Over to Darrell Evans. Left wing. He shoots. Saved by Fuhr. Glove save. He hangs on. Oh, Mike Murphy and Paul Coffey. Murphy whacked Coffey against the side with his stick right at the whistle and let's see if they're going to go I think they are both of them Coffee and Mike Murphy are both going to go into the penalty box early here only nine seconds gone in the second period 3-2 the Kings lead both teams are going to be short a man 
The winner, as we said, will play Vancouver starting Thursday night and Friday night in Vancouver in a best four out of seven series. And then the series will switch to either Los Angeles on Sunday night and Monday night or back here to Edmonton, depending upon which team wins tonight. Mike Murphy and Paul Coffey each get two minutes slashing at the nine second mark. So both clubs will be shy skater for the next two minutes. Dion out on the draw against Gretzky. Dion wins the draw up the middle. Hardy shoots. Tipped. Saved by Fuhr. And he covers up. When it was tipped, it was not moving very quickly toward Fuhr. And he had time to make the stick save and cover up on the rebound. Kings winning the faceoffs with regularity here tonight. Dion got it back to Hardy on left point, And Mark let a wrist shot go. And Evans got really too much wood on it. That really slowed it down so Fuhr could react and make the save. Here's Gary Unger against Dion to the right of Fuhr. Dion wins the draw up the middle. Korab's drive deflected in the slot. Picked up now by Evans. He gets a weak shot and an easy save made as Evans was being checked. He couldn't get a hard shot. Oilers give it away. From the left point, Hardy pass broken up. Silkinen ahead to Gretzky. Gretzky to the King line. He shoots wide to the left side. Puck taken by Jerry Koreb. Koreb behind the King net. Sweeps it up on the right side to Daryl Evans. Here's Evans now going in deep behind the net. Gives it to Koreb. Koreb around the left side. Here's Jerry Koreb up to the King line. Koreb checked in front of the other bench by Anderson. Gretzky with it. His pass back out to center ice. Taken by Charlie Huddy. Each team is short a man. Oilers down. 3-2, Huddy, backhander, stick save by Lassard. Anderson with it, left wing boards. He drives it in deep, taken by Gretzky. Left wing corner to Anderson, it's on, he shoots. Saved by Lassard. Rebound up the middle, Kings with it. Oh, Lassard has come up with some big saves tonight. Here's Evans, giving it to Dion, right side, he shoots, he scores! Marcel Dion cut to the right side of the slot and he beat Fuhr on his glove side into the left corner and the Kings lead four to two and there Nick you see the value of that big save Lessard came up big against Anderson back come the Kings and score Evans with an assist just a beautiful effort by Dion stepping around the defense and Charlie Huddy at the blue line beating Fjord cleanly glove side upper left corner Dion with a little shift to his right got Huddy mixed up in his skates the Kings lead by a pair again for the third time. It's 4-2. to two. Evans and Lassard get the assist at 109. Kings with it again. Here's Larry Murphy now. Both teams still short a man. Puck taken by Doug Smith. Here's Smith to the other line. Across the line. Smith down the right side. Had it poked away. Loose puck picked up by Larry Murphy. Rolls it in deep. Taken away by Fogel. Fogelin headmans it up to his blue line. Boschman with it. Here's Boschman. King line. Boschman. His double team gets knocked down. Loose puck low with it. Low bumped by Wells in the left wing corner of the King zone. And the puck is still now whistled dead. Still loose for a moment. 4-2 King, second period. This game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. King's Hockey is brought to you by Longines, the world's most honored watch and official timekeeper of the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. Longines, very thin, very Swiss, quartz, of course. King's fourth goal at 109. Both clubs were shy as skater. Dion is fourth from Evans and Lassard. Again, Peter Pocklington, the owner of the Oilers, in attendance here tonight. He was at the two games in Los Angeles. Face off to the right of Mario Lassard. Dan Bonner out to take the draw against Tom Rolston, and the Kings win the draw again. Bouncing puck, Chartraw with it, King zone, drops it back to Hardy. Hardy sweeps it off the boards up the center ice. 18.04 to go here in the second period. Kings ahead 4-2. Fogelin's pass up the center ice, comes to the King line, Chartraw with it. Chartraw, he gives it to Bonner, offside pass called against the King. Darrell Evans, a goal and an assist here tonight, now has 10 playoff points to lead the Kings in that category. He has five goals and five assists. Marcel Dion with his fourth goal, second on the club with seven points, four goals and three assists. Again, Gretzky leads all Oiler point producers with 12 points, five goals among those 12. Dan Byner against Ralston, and it comes out to center ice. Oilers with it. Both teams are now back at full strength. Puck comes in to Mechie. King zone. He is cut by Hardy. Tried to roll it out in front. Broken up. Oilers with it. Fogelin. He shoots. He hit the crossbar. Rebound comes out to center ice. Fogelin. Shot hit the crossbar. The hard looks behind him. He says, thank you. Here's Simmer with it. Lost it at center ice. It rolls to Ralston. Ralston to Lumley. Lumley. King zone. To Messier. The Ralston. He shoots. 
or two. A lovely save by Lassard. He covers up. Well, that's about five saves now from point blank that Lassard has come up big. And what can you say about goaltending in the playoffs? So many times you see great goaltending carry a club not only throughout a playoff series like Lassard really has done here in this one, but also through the entire playoffs. He made three outstanding saves, the best on Boschman, a breakaway at 7-10 of the first period. Mike McEwen has scored for the Islanders. It's Pittsburgh three, the Islanders two late in the game. 4-2, excuse me. 4-2 Pittsburgh, late in that game. Face off to the right of Lassard. King zone, Dan Bonner against Gary Unger. King's leading here, 4-2. They're going to kick Bonner and Unger out. Pat Hughes comes in for the Oilers. Charlie Simmer for the Kings. Face off. Kings win the draw again. Simmer over to Korab. Gives it to Dave Lewis. Lewis up on the left side to Bonner. Bonner tips it out to center ice. Oilers back to get it. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Second period. 17-15 to go in the period. Kings leading 4-2. Here is Korab at center ice. His pass off the board. Taken away by Gary LaRiviere. He drives it in King's own. Dave Hunter left side. He shoots. Saved by the start. Rebound up the middle. Held in at the blue line. Oilers under. Centers it. Broken up by the Kings. And not clear. LaRiviere holds it in. Simmer takes it away. Simmer can't clear it. He gets knocked down on the puck. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. No place for timid tires. And since 1915, General's been meeting the need with tough, quality tires for trucks and cars. Same still true today with General's family of quality, fuel-efficient, steel and glass-belted radials at great prices. Remember, for tires or service, you must be satisfied. Stop in soon. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. The Kings continue to work hard right down to the last man. The forwards helping out on defense by hustling back. Good forechecking tonight, I think, better than uh, the first couple of games here in Edmonton, exhibited by the Kings so far in the first 23 minutes. 4-2 Kings. We've played 3-0-4 here in the second. Bernie Nichols wins the draw from Gretzky. Here's Korab behind the King net. Korab trying to get away from Gretzky. Passes ahead to Nichols. Nichols pass ahead underneath the stick of Fox. This will be icing as Coffey gets to it. Icing called against the Kings. And they'll move the faceoff back into the Kings zone. Jimmy Fox, one of the standouts up front for the Kings all season long. Scored 32 times. Last year, his rookie season, he had 18. Paul Coffey getting some regular duty tonight, Bob. He didn't see... Uh, Hardly any action last night in the Oilers. Big victory. I'm sure he got a big lift with that power play goal he scored near the end of that first period. Here's Gretzky now facing off in the King zone. And again, Nichols wins it and ties Gretzky up. Puck taken by Jay Wells. Wells pass up the middle of Bernie Nichols. Nichols comes to the right. Drops it off to Jimmy Fox. Fox down the right side with Bozek. Fox cuts the slot. Back to Bozek. Left wing. Bozek couldn't get a shot off. He gets knocked down by Yari Curry. Puck is in the Oilers zone. Picked up in deep now. Pass behind the net. Comes over to Bernie Nichols. Nichols, he's bumped along the board, tip to the box. Fox tried to give it up the middle to Bozek, broken up, and Coffee with it. Coffee's pass to center right. Oilers with it. Pass over to Coffee. King zone. Coffee right side. Backhander saved by Lassard. Rebound, Nichols ahead to Fox. Ahead to Bozek. Bozek to center right. Steve Bozek down the left wing. Bozek into the Oilers zone. Bozek along the left wing board. Lerivier knocks it away. Bozek gets it again. Bozek still with it. The puck is held against the boards as Bernie Nichols couldn't dig it up. 4-2 Kings, 15-53 to go here in the second period. And this game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings hockey is brought to you by Sears, and you can count on Sears for house paint that last. Sears house paints go through extensive and rigorous lab testing to guarantee satisfaction or your money back. You can count on Sears. Steve Bozak on that last individual effort for the Kings. Nothing but praise for Bozak from Don Perry. He's played very well in all four games. Dion wins the draw, but Messier pokes it to center ice. Kings trying to get back. Messier overstates it at center ice. Mike Murphy checks him in front of the penalty box. Sharpshaw with it. Ahead now to the Oiler line. Dion got dumped. Puck is picked up by the Oilers. Here's Fogelman. Kings leading 4-2. Fogelman drives it into the Kings zone. Left side. Messier in deep. Checked by Sharpshaw. Puck is behind the net. Picked up now by the Oilers. Right point. Fogelman with it. He shoots. Save! Rebound up the middle. Bossman couldn't get a shot. Evans with it for the Kings. Here's Daryl Evans up to center ice. Evans taken out of the play by Messier. Bossman with it. Sends it back to the King line. Sartre clears it to center ice. Loose puck there. Bounces over to Mike Murphy. Hooked away from him. Back down the right 
right side, Lumley, King zone, Lumley moving in deep, he shoots, saves, rebound Boston, the Bucs couldn't get it, loose puck, Evans, can't clear, held in Oilers, low, low drive, tipped in the corner, picked up by Bossman, Bossman behind the net, check there, puck comes to Fogelin, centers it, tipped away, Oilers with it, to the blue line, low, he shoots, wide to the left side, rebound Fogelin, he shoots, six save, left side, rebound to Dion, he clears, 14.48 to go. The clock is stopped now. Oh, okay. We had a whistle. <laughs> penalties. I think Boschman and Lassard may get caught two minutes each for mixing it up around Mario's goal crease. Mario was really flopping around there because of all the activity in front in the slot area. Well, they're the best seats in the house for year-round forum fun. They're just a ticket for client entertaining. Employee incentive programs are just family fun. They're called Senate seats. And they're just the thing for enjoying every forum event all year. For details on these VIP Senate seats, call 419-3131 weekdays. That's 419-3131 weekdays. Penalty is against the Kings, Mario Lassard and Lori Bosman of the Oilers. Lassard talking with Andy Van Helleman, the referee. Lassard for slashing and Boschman for interference. Gretzky is out. He'll take the draw. The face off to the left of Lassard. Gretzky against Doug Smith. 4 2 Kings late. Kings win the draw again. They've just done a great job on uh, face off tonight. Here's Dave Lewis in the Kings zone. Up to Doug Smith. Smith gives it back to Corrad. Now back to Smith. Smith pass up to center ice. Taken in front of the Oiler bench by Bozak. He's bumped from behind. Bozak holds it there. Puck comes loose. Curry with it. Gary Curry, right side. His pass deflects off Doug Smith out to center ice. Chased down by Siltonen. Here's Siltonen back in his own zone. Passing up to Curry at center ice. Gary Curry ahead to Gretzky out of his reach. Puck comes in deep. It'll be icing if Corrad gets to it and he does. Icing against the Oilers with a minute 30 left to go in the minor penalties to Lassard and Boschman. This game with the Kings leading 4-2 in the second period is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Mark C. Blue, Southern California's leading tire dealer with over 50 stores to serve you. Mark C. Blue, they take care of your car from the tires up. Jerry Carab, the veteran on defense, was injured early in the third period last night, but he's all right playing another sound, steady game. Face off to the right of Grant Fuhrer. Smith gets picked out of the face-off spot, so it's Bozek in against Gretzky. And again, the Kings have the draw for a moment, but now poked away by Silton to Huddy. Now to Silton behind the Oiler net. 4-2 Kings, 14-10 to go, second period. Oilers with it. Up to center ice comes Huddy. Charlie Huddy flips it off the board. Jay Wells checks him back to pick it up. Doug Smith. Smith behind the King net, gives it on the right side. Kings with it. Now Wells to center ice. Here's Wells, his pass to Bozek. Tipped away at the line, and we'll get an offside. Uh, no, I guess not. I thought it was going to be delayed offside. It's not. Picked up by the Oilers. Silton gave it away for a moment, but now the Oilers get it back. Here's Gretzky to the red line. Gretzky, his pass into the King zone, broken up by Larry Murphy. Clears it to center ice. Back to Silton at the blue line. His pass to center ice to Huddy. Huddy to Gretzky. Gretzky to Huddy. Trying to get on the left side. Checked by Wells. Somebody throws something out of the ice. It's a program. Play continues. Puck comes up to center ice. Silton in with it. Silton in to Curry. Curry back to Silton. In order zone. 4 2 10. Second period. Silton is passed. Stolen by Jimmy Fox. He's got Nichols ahead. Nichols all alone. Nichols in front. He shoots. He scores. To the pumper, Nickel Bernie. Yeah. Nichols went down the middle and scores on Grant Fuhr and the Kings lead 5-2. to two. Boy, the giveaways in this game have been unbelievable. Bernie Nichols gives the Kings their first three-goal lead in the game. He banked it in off the post to the right of Fuhr. The goal with both clubs shy a skater at 6.49. Jim Fox will get the lone assist as he picked up the stray oiler pass at center ice for Bernie Nichols, his third goal of the playoffs, and for Jimmy Fox, assist number three. Oilers with it. Here's Lowe. He drives it off the back of the linesman, and the Kings take it away, and Fox clears it to center ice. 13 minutes to go, second period. 5-2 Kings. Oilers with it. Pass up to Hughes. Chased down by... Hughes and Hardy, puck comes around the board, Fogelin with it, King's own, he shoots, blocked and out the center ice off Hardy. 
Out of the penalty box comes Mike Murphy. Puck taken by Lowe. Murphy was serving the penalty to Lassard. Nichols intercepts. Nichols drives it off the boards into the Oilers zone. And another giveaway by the Oilers. Twelve and a half minutes to go, second period. 5-2, Kings lead it. Up to center ice, Oilers with it. Lowe flips it high on the air. He didn't get across the red line. Icing coming up. Beyond touches it. Icing, Oilers. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. KHJ TV, Channel 9, your RKO General Station, Los Angeles. We have updates now. Apparently, Pittsburgh only had three goals. We were told earlier they had four, but it's 3-3. Pittsburgh and the Islanders with one and a half minutes left in regulation. Montreal has tied Quebec at two in the third period, late in the third period at Montreal. Face off in the Oilers zone. Here the Kings lead 5-2. Dion was going to face off there against Boston. They're both booted out. Messier for the Oilers. Who'll take it for the Kings? Looks like Darrell Evans. 5-2 Kings. 12-25 to go. Second period. Bob Miller here along with Nick Nixon. And still they don't drop the puck. Boschman jumping offside. Now the draw. One by Messier this time. Oilers with it. Coffee behind his own net. Coffee coming up to his own blue line. Here's Coffee to the red line. Here's Coffee to the king line. Poke checked off his stick. Coffee holds it in. Checked by Evans. Evans clears it to center ice. Oilers get back to take it. Here's Gary LaRiviere. He drives it along the board. Back behind the net. Puck comes over to Coffee. Left wing side. King zone. He's bumped by Korea. Puck bounces away from Messier. In deep. Dave Lewis and Bosman go for it. Picked up by Messier. Korab takes it away. Korab still with it. Flipped it behind Lumley. Picked up by Dion. King zone. Dion's pass to the Riviere. Taken away by the Kings. Two on one. Here comes Murphy and Evans. Evans with it. Evans moving in over to Mike Murphy. Tipped in front. Saved by Fjord. And Fjord just did get his right skate on it as he was leaning to his left. Five, two Kings will be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Introducing a dog's best friend, the 1982 Toyota 4x4, with a kind of sure-footed four-wheel drive that gets you almost anywhere, anytime. Its big, powerful 2.4-liter engine has more than enough muscle to make the almost impossible passable. The 1982 Toyota 4x4, something to bark about. Play in the way again. Oilers bring it to center ice. Here's Dave Hunter. Down the right wing. Hunter gets around the hip check from Bonner. Pass over the middle. Shot deflected up into the crowd. Shot by Hughes. Deflected up over the King net. 11.31 to go in this second period. Kings 5. Oilers 2. Again, each club with one victory, one loss in their own building. The first two games here in Edmonton. Kings won the first 10-8. Lost the second 3-2. Then the Kings, first game at home, 6-5 in overtime. The Oilers last night, 3-2. So all the games up to now have been close. Dan Bonner ready on the draw against Gary Younger. And goodbye, fellas. They both get booted out. Hughes comes in for the Oilers. Charlie Simmer for the Kings. Simmer wins the draw. Over to Larry Murphy. Murphy up to center right. His pass ahead to Bonner. Bonner flips it down the right side. Oilers zone. Bonner drives it behind the net. Puck stopped by Fewer. Fogelin picks it up. His pass. On the left wing, Oilers come to center ice. Here's Unger. Unger with Hughes. Unger across the king line. His pass came back on the center ice. Taken by Bonner, but he couldn't hold it at center ice. And the Oilers drive it back in the king zone. Hughes pass taken away by Wells. Wells to Bonner. Bonner to the Oilers line. Bonner in the Oilers zone. His left wing pass. Simmer tries to go for it. He's down in the corner. Taken away by Hughes. Hughes pass to Lowe. Lowe checked by Bonner. Puck comes up to Dave Hunter. Hunter with it. His pass comes over to Unger. Bonner got knocked down. He bumped into Taylor. Back come the Oilers. Hoagland's pass ahead to Unger. King line. Unger's pass. Left wing side. Hunter checked by Dave Taylor. Unger with it. Passed it out to center ice. 10.41 to go. Second period. 5-2. to two, The Kings lead. Here's Siltonen. He gives it to Lowe. Lowe to the King line. He shoots. Saved by Lassard. Rebound Larry Murphy. Murphy takes it behind the King net. Pass up the right side to Taylor. Here's Taylor. Three on two with Doug Smith and Simmer. But Simmer goes to the bench. Taylor with it. Right wing. He shoots. Saved by Fuhrer. Oh, a glove save that time. Puck is behind the net. Close that to Smith. Smith. Oilers zone. Smith. Left side. Passed it in front. Broken up by Siltonen. Here's Reese Bill Silton and with it. His pass up the center race to Lumley. Lumley to the King line. Lumley poke checked away by Chartra. Taken by the Kings and back they come. Here's Hardy. Hardy from center race with a drive and it's wide to the left. Rebound to Messier. 5-2 Kings lead. Ten minutes left to go in the second period. Puck is in the corner. 
Taken by Hopkins. His pass along the boards. Held in by Bozek. Drives it behind the net. Huddy with it for the Oilers. He clears it the length of the ice. This will be icing against the Oilers as Chartres will go back to touch it. Icing. Edmonton. 9.43 to go in the second period. And the Kings lead 5-2. This game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Toyota brings you exciting Kings hockey, and they invite you to see and drive the Toyota Starlet, the first small wonder of the world today at your Toyota dealer. Oh, what a feeling to drive a Toyota. Again, in the first period, when the Kings built their 3-2 lead, they constantly took advantage of Oiler miscues around their own goaltender, and they're continuing to do that here in the second period. Just moments ago, Bozek stole the puck behind the net, but nobody was in front as Taylor was heading off on a line change. Face off to the left of Grant Fuhr. Dion facing off of the Kings against Laurie Boschman of the Oilers. The shots on goal, Oilers 28, Kings 19. Kings leading in the game, 5-2. Dion ready on the draw in the Oilers zone. And on the draw, this time Oilers with it. Taken back behind the Oiler net by Randy Gregg. Here's Gregg's pass up the center ice to Boschman. Boschman drives it into the King zone. Comes behind the net. Lassard cut it off for Dave Lewis. Lewis pass in the corner stolen by Boschman. Boschman's pass behind the net over to Messier. Messier gives it to Boschman around in front. Hooked away by Dave Lewis. Lewis cut Lewis with it. Lewis behind the net. Lewis still with it. Lewis checked by Boschman. Lewis's pass. Messier intercepts. Checked by Mike Murphy. Lewis with it again. Lewis in the corner. It's going to be held against the board. Oilers dig it out. Pass left side. Oilers with it to the blue line. Silton in. He shoots wide to the right side. Rebound. Boschman couldn't jam it in. And the whistle blows. Boschman gets cleared out from the side of the net. Well, again, timbers flaring. Whenever there's a pileup around the two goaltenders, it's been that way. All series again for all of you viewers on Channel 9. The Lakers will follow this Kings Oilers game. So stay tuned for the Pacific Division champions. And hopefully the Kings can get a little bit of a championship here tonight, Bob. They're playing very well. Everybody continues to work hard. And really, from Don Perry's standpoint, what more can a coach ask for? I want to remind you that Laker playoff tickets are available at the Forum Box Office open every morning at 10 a.m. and also at Ticketron. Face off to the left of Mario Lassard. Messi on the draw for the Kings. Win it. Here's Wells with it. Bernie Nichols won the draw. Wells behind the net pass up the middle to Nichols. He tipped it on the right wing to Jimmy Fox. Fox chases it down. Fox in the Oilers' zone. Puck checked off his stick back to center ice by Silton. Picked up by Nichols. Nichols tried to give it to Fox. Tipped away by Silton. He controls it back in the Oilers' zone. 8.47 to go, second period. 5 2 Kings lead. Pass up the center ice. Messier to the King line. Messier across the line. Drops it to Gretzky. Gretzky, blue line. Silton in. He shoots. Deflected in front. And just out of the reach of Lumley. Lumley fell down. Just couldn't reach it. Fox with it. And the Kings ice the puck. Larry Murphy drove it the length of the ice. We'll have an icing call against the Kings. 8.22 left to go in the second period. 5 2 Kings. This game coming to you live on Radio and Television from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings Hockey is brought to you by Republic Airlines, the official airline of the Kings. Nobody serves our Republic like Republic Airlines. Dave Lumley tripping over Mario Lassard. Fans wanted a penalty on Lassard. Mario was coming out to make the save, and actually Lumley just fell over Lassard's stick and also part of his body. Now Dave Semenko makes his debut tonight. Face off to the right of Lassard. Gretzky against Doug Smith. And on the draw again, the Kings win the draw. Chartraw with it. Chartraw's pass around the boards, held in by Coffey. Into Gretzky. Gretzky checked into the board. Semenko with it. Left side, King zone. Semenko throws it behind the net. Lassard sweeps it up the left side to Simmer, and Charlie clears at the center ice. 8.08 to go, second period. Kings leading 5-2. Oilers with it. At center ice. Coffee can't hold it. Taken away by Hardy. Hardy at the red line. Bumped there. And it's held against the boards right between the Kings and the Oilers bench. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It's happening now. Sears Day. A sale as great as its name. Hurry for $30 off this big sound two-way four-speaker portable stereo with cassette play record and AM FM radio. Here's $70 savings that shine on this frostless refrigerator featuring energy-saving Power Miser. 
Save $100 on this microwave oven that lets you cook a whole meal at the same time or will defrost and cook automatically. Every day is a value day during Sears Days. For a sale as great as its name, you can count on Sears. Kings have outscored the Oilers 2-0 in the second period. Both goals by Dion and Nichols. La Riviere gives it off now in his own zone, then gets it back. The Oilers with it. Here's Coffee. His pass up the center ice comes all the way down into the King zone. It was tipped, so it will not be icing. Chased down by Chartraw. Oh, Chartraw's pass stolen by Gretzky. Gretzky against the boards. His pass deflects in deep. Chartraw with it again. Chartraw checks by Semenko. Gretzky centers it up the middle. Taken by the Oilers. Held in. Coffee left point. His shot deflected off the stick of Chartraw. Here's Gretzky tipping it behind the net. Taken by Hardy. Hardy comes up the left side. Couldn't clear it. Hardy Puck comes loose. Gretzky with it. His pass. Stolen. Hopkins clears it off the board back in the order zone. This will be icing against the Kings. 7-13 to go. Second period. Kings 5. Oilers 2. Exciting team tennis for the L.A. Springs. Returns to the forum this summer. Seven exciting matches in score. See the superstars of tennis at the forum July 6th through the 18th as team tennis returns. For information... Call 419-3257 weekdays. That number again, 419-3257. And score this season with the Los Angeles Strings. Messier out for the faceoff against Dion to the left of Lessard. 7-13 to go, second period. Dion wins the draw. Dion drives it behind the net over to Mike Murphy on the right wing. Murph flips it up in the air. Out to center right. Chased down by Fogelin. Fogelin back in his own zone. Passes up the center ice to the Oilers. Messier with it. His pass taken away by Lewis. Lewis tried to give it to Dion. Poked away. Out the center ice. Messier with it for the Oilers. Here's Messier to the king line against Dave Lewis. And Lewis bumps Messier hard. Puck comes in deep. Korab bumped hard by Anderson. Anderson bumped in deep. Korab kept in the gun now. Knocked him down. Dion with it. Dion's pass around the boards. Left point. Low holds it in. Low's pass comes around to Anderson. Right wing board. Anderson didn't get it. Fogelin did. He drives it wide of the net. Ralston with it for the Oilers. King zone. Ralston passes behind the net. Picked up by Anderson around in front. He shoots. Save by Lassard. He covers up on it. Again, a great save by Mario Lassard. The speedy Glenn Anderson cutting behind the net. Using some of his muscle to ward off the defenders. Went right in front. Got a lot of net to shoot at, surprisingly enough. But Lassard made the save. The rebound was underneath him right in the crease. And Mario pounced at it before... Anderson could get his own rebound. 6.28 left to go in the second period. Kings 5, Oilers 2. Kings goals, 2 by Charlie Simmer, 1 by Daryl Evans, 1 by Marcel Dion, 1 by Bernie Nichols. Face off to the left of Lassard. And this time, it's Nichols against Unger in the King zone. And this time, more than Quinn. Silton and shooting. Save made off the blocker of Lassard. Fox with it. Clears it. Center ice. Here's Bernie Nichols. Down the right wing. Would have been an offside pass if he touched it. Puck is back out at center ice. Taken by Unger. Unger for the Oilers. Give it to Hughes. Taken away by the King's Jimmy Fox. Fox gives it over to Bozek. Bozek on the left wing at the blue line. Bozek still with it. Tipped off his stick. Held in at the blue line by Wells. In front of the middle. Saved by Fuhr. Oh, the Kings have scored on the glove side of Fuhr tonight, Nick, but the last two times they tried it, he's come up with big glove saves. And Grand Fuhr continues to make outstanding quick glove saves. We've said it time and time again in this series. Kings have taken some excellent shots on the young goaltender. He's got a great glove hand. He shows it right there from 15 feet on Bernie Nichols as again the Oilers had trouble in their own zone. 6.03 left, second period, Kings ahead, 5-2, the winner will advance into the division final against Vancouver starting Thursday and Friday in Vancouver, Sunday and Monday, either in Los Angeles or Edmonton. Quebec has eliminated Montreal, the Canadians lose 3-2 in Montreal to Quebec. The Canadians are out of it. Here's Fox, right point Larry Murphy. Murphy drives it in behind the oil and net. Paul Coffey with it, drives it off the boards to Lumley. Lumley's pass, left side, Messier, Messier, shoots, wide, rebound off the boards, out to the Riviera, the right point, his pass in deep, gets away from Wells, Lumley with it, Lumley to Messier, left side, King zone, Messier to the blue line, shot deflected wide with Bossman in front, 
Picked up by the King. Not clear. The Riviere with a drive deflected in front of Lassard. A bouncer. Puck comes over to Wells. And it was knocked out of the air with a high stick. Oh, boy. That was close. That puck was bouncing around. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It started six years ago with a simple taste test. Pepsi versus Coke. The Pepsi Challenge. Thousands have taken a taste test like this, and nationwide, more people prefer the taste of Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Face off to the left of Lassard. That announcement that Montreal's been eliminated has got this crowd roaring now. Danny Bonner on the draw against Bossman. And they're going to kick them both out. The Kings are leading here 5-2 to two with 5.32 to go second period. Here's Messier against Simmer on the faceoff. Bonner not lined up properly. He's in the circle. And so is Bossman. So they won't drop the puck. The Montreal Canadiens don't get by the first round again this season. In it overtime, in overtime. Thank the you. Islanders have won. No, that's wrong. Pittsburgh, uh, the scoreboard is wrong here. Up to center right come the King. Here's Dave Taylor into the other zone. Taylor's pass is loose. Picked up by the uh, Bonner. Over to Taylor. Taylor, right wing board. He's bumped hard. His pass taken behind the Oilers net by Coffee. Coffee's pass. Up the left side. Oilers with it. And Taylor got knocked down. So did Messier. Boschman flips it into the King zone. The side sweeps it right back to Boschman in the corner. His pass tipped by Bonner. Taken by Hardy. Hardy with it. Ahead to center right to Simmer. One man back at the air. Simmer looks for help. He's got a trailer in front. And Taylor... Simmer behind the net, set there, loose puck, Taylor tried to dig it out, Simmer kicks it loose, Simmer's got Bonner in front, can't get it to him, right side, Chartraw, he shoots, he scores! Chartraw, it was deflected in front, the Kings lead 6-2. to two. It was deflected in front, I don't know whether a King got it or an Oiler, if an Oiler touched it, it's Chartraw's goal. The Kings lead 6-2, to 4.45 to go, second period. Outside of the right circle along the boards, either it was deflected or it may have skipped in front of Fjord and hopped over his stick, but it beat Fjord on the glove side. First goal of the playoffs, and Dan Bonner is getting credit for the deflection. Rick Chartreau, who let the original shot go, will get an assist, and Charlie Simmer assists as well. 6-2 King. Oilers with it. Fogel in at center ice. To Curry. Curry right side. He shoots. Blocked by Dave Lewis. Lewis back to get it. Jumping in front of him was Semenko. Puck taken away by the King. Pass up to Smith at center ice. Smith takes it down, but Fogel in back to get it. 4.15 to go, second period. King 6. Oilers 2. Bonner deflected the shot from the right wing by Chartra. Pass comes up to center ice. Curry with it. Here's Curry. Tip, tipped away at center ice by Evans. Back into the Oilers zone. Low with it. Four minutes to go here in the second period. Curry's pass up to center ice. Intercepted by Larry Murphy. Murphy to the Oilers line. Murphy right side. Rolls it in deep behind the net. Pure with it. Mike Murphy comes in. Didn't get it. Pure's pass taken by Evans. Evans flips it in to Mike Murphy. Murphy checked there against the boards by Low. Puck taken by Fogelin. Fogelin for the Oilers. Passing up the center ice to Gretzky. Flips it into the King zone. Right wing corner. 6-2 Kings. Puck fought four and taken by Wells. Wells bumped by Semenko. Dion with it. Here come the Kings. Three on two. Dion to center ice. Gretzky trying to get back. It's a three on three. Dion to the other line. Dion had his hook checked off. his stick by Stilton. And Gretzky puts it up. Here's Gretzky to center ice. Gretzky pass. Tipped away by Larry Murphy at the blue line. Oilers with it. Offside going to be called now. Offside Oilers at the King line. 3.18 to go. Second period. Kings. Six, Oilers, two. This game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings Hockey is brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Southern California, a 1984 Olympic sponsor helping to make Olympic dreams come true. McDonald's. Nick will be going downstairs to talk with another member of the Kings at the end of this period. And we'll also talk with a supervisor of officials in the NHL, Dutch Van Dielen. 3.18 left second period. 6-2, Kings lead the Oilers. Montreal has been eliminated. It's the 
score on that Pittsburgh Islander game has changed about three times. I don't know what it is. It was 4-2 once Pittsburgh. Then it was 3-3. Now it's 2-2 on the scoreboard. Kings with it. Pass around the boards all the way down to the other zone. This is going to be icing as the Oilers Siltonen gets back to touch it. And we have an icing call against the Los Angeles Kings. Now they're putting up. Pittsburgh has eliminated the Islanders. Apparently in overtime, 3-2. Montreal is out of it. The Islanders are out of it. Pittsburgh, and I don't know if that's right. We've seen about four different scores of that game. But it's now on the scoreboard here. Pittsburgh three, the Islanders two in overtime. Here it's the Kings six, the Oilers two. 3.05 left in the second period. Oh, wait, now it's, they say it's tied. Three, three. <laughs> Oilers with it, left side. Anderson, he shoots, saved by Lassard. Glove save. I think he said the score was 3-3 three, three in the overtime. We're in the age of advanced communications, and we've had eight different scores from Long Island. I know we're pretty far north up here, Cam, but... Uh... <laughs> guest at the end of this intermission will be Dan Bonner of the Kings who just tipped in a shot by Shark draw to give the Kings a 6-2 lead. 2.57 left second period. Bernie Nichols ready on the draw. Wins the draw but Messier chases it down. He couldn't hold it. Hardy had it. Now Messier's pass comes around to Simmer. Simmer clears it to center right. Chased down by the Oilers. 2.45 to go, second period. Here's Randy Gregg. Gregg from center right to the drive. Gloved by Lassard. Mario dropped it for Hardy. Hardy behind the net. Hardy lost it to Gretzky. Gretzky centers it to Anderson. And in front, back in save by Lassard. Loose puck, pick up by the Kings. Penalty. Holding. I think they're going to get Simmer. I think they're going to get Charlie Simmer for holding. He grabbed Messier in the opinion of referee Andy Van Helleman. So again now, late in a period, the Kings are giving the Oilers a chance on the power play. In the first period, Paul Coffey scored a power play goal at 19.26. The Kings this time just couldn't control the bouncing puck. Messier tried to get it. Lassard couldn't hold it in his glove. Then Lassard made a great save on Messier's backhand, and Simmer made a nice tackle. Might have the Rams check him out. He reached around the leg of Messier and pulled him down. Simmer has two goals tonight, his third and fourth of the series, and he also, let's see, I thought he had an assist. I guess he just got the two goals so far. Oilers with it at the blue line. Silton in the coffee, in front, and hooked away from Semenko by Lassard. Semenko with it. Oiler power play. Pass up the middle. Silton in. He shoots. Blocked by the Kings. Held in by Silton in. Was blocked by Bonner. Silton in. Back to Curry at the blue line. To the left side. To coffee. He shoots. Blocked. Korab with it. Korab clears it down into the Oilers zone. King six. Oilers two. Two minutes left to go. Second period. Here's Silton in the Oilers zone. Silton in the center ice to Curry. Curry, King zone, drop pass, Gretzky, he shoots, save! It may have hit the goal post, Korab clears it again! On target, Fuhr makes the stop at the other end. A minute 15 to go in the King penalty to Simmer. Here comes Paul Coffey. Coffey to center ice, Coffey for the Oilers, down the middle, right wing pass, taken off the boards, held in by Coffey, into Semenko, right wing corner, Semenko to Coffey, right side, King zone, Coffey goes into the corner, Coffey with it, passes behind the net to Gretzky, Gretzky tried to pass in front, tipped away by Wells, Wells to Larry Murphy, he clears it up into the crowd. 119 left, second period, King six, Oilers two, 50 seconds left to go on the penalty to Charlie Simmons. The winner will play Vancouver with the best four out of seven series opening in Vancouver this Thursday night, continuing their Friday night, and then moving to either Los Angeles or Edmonton on Sunday night and Monday night. on the draw. Marcel Dion with Messier. Dion won the draw, but the Oilers hold it in. Left point. Kevin Lowe. Lowe's pass. Left side to Messier. Messier on the power play. King's own. Pass right side. Coffey didn't get it. King's take it. 
Back they come to center ice. Larry Murphy with Nichols and Dion. Murphy down the left side, gives it to Nichols in the slot. Couldn't get a shot. Loose puck. Gretzky took it away from behind. Here's Gretzky to Messier. King zone. Messier moving in deep. Cut off in the corner by Wells. Messier's pass up the middle. Coffee shooting. Tipped in front by Wells into the corner. 19 seconds to go in the order power play. Wells has lost his stick. Pass in front of Messier. His shot blocked by Dion. Puck is loose. Chased by Larry Murphy. Can't clear it. Left point. Low. Low's pass in deep to Gretzky. Gretzky behind the net. He's got Messier. Tried to give it to him. Tipped away by Wells. Dion with it behind the net. Dion wraps it around the boards. Out to center ice. Things are back at full strength. Out of the box comes Simmer. Simmer looking for the hat trick to the other line. Simmer left side. Goes deep. Centers it. 19 seconds to go, second period. Kings were in a line change, so Charlie had no help. Pass up the center ice by the Oilers. Taken away. 12 seconds to go, second period. Kings six, Oilers two, and Chartraw lifts it from center ice up over the glass. Remember, our guest at the end of this period will be Dan Bonner, the Kings. He'll be talking to Nick Nixon. We'll talk with Dutch Van Dielen, one of the officials of superv uh, supervisors of officials, about. Uh, Picking the officials for the playoffs and how they're rated, etc. 6-2 Kings. Eight seconds left, second period. Ralston on the draw. Oilers with it. Silton drives it in. A bouncer saved by Lassard. One second to go. Second period's over. And the Kings lead 6-2. Now look out right at the buzzer. There's a strap as Mike Murphy got bumped. Domenko comes in. This happened right at the buzzer now. Andy Van Hilleman, the referee, is there. A little pushing and shoving still going on. Kings lead it 6-2 in the second period. Dion, Nichols, and Bonner had goals. And now the team separating at center ice. We'll be back in two minutes. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. <laughs> Perpetrators? Oh, I don't remember, but the car was a Toyota Celica GT liftback. Yeah, perpetrators? Well, Celica had retractable headlights. The perpetrators? Lovely car in there. The unforgettable Toyota Celica. It's the right stuff. A little to ride. Oh, 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 what a feeling. Celica. Toyota. You know, to be at your best, you need a little time to relax, a little peace, a little quiet. That's why, as a master brewer, this is one of my favorite places. Here, our Schlitz is resting, aging, and maturing. Here, every drop will remain until it's ready. One clean, refreshing taste of Schlitz will tell you a little time off is time well spent. Behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. Everyone's playing the $20 million McDonald's quality game, Earl. How can you just sit there? I'm not just sitting, I'm eating. We could win from $100 clear up to half a million. Love this 100% all-American beef. There's instant winners, too, like Coca-Cola, filet of fish sandwich, over 50 million prizes available. Oh! Must have won herself a big Mac. I asked McDonald's. Nobody serves our republic like republic. Nobody flies our country like we do. From sea to shining sea. Where would you like to be? Nobody serves as many cities just for you. Nobody serves the people like republic. With a small town smile and a big city style. Because the goes all the way for you. Nobody serves our republic like republic. Back here at the Northlands Coliseum, we've played two periods of hockey. In game number five, the deciding game, the Kings, what would seem to be a commanding four-goal lead right now at 6-2, to two, but both clubs have had leads in the series only to lose them. In that second period, Marcel Dion, with both clubs shy of skater, scoring his fourth of the playoffs from Evans and Lassard, that made it 4-2. to two. Bernie Nichols at 649 on a great individual effort from Jimmy Fox. His third of the playoffs made it 5-2. to two. And the gentleman to my left, Dan Bonner, got credit for the sixth Kings goal at 15-15, tipping in Rick Chartraw's shot from just outside the right circle. Before we get to the goal, Dan, I think the Kings are working hard out there to a man. Yeah, that's true, Nick. Uh, we realized that coming into this rink, it wasn't going to be easy. And 
right from the opening whistle, uh, we felt that their crowd was behind them and that we'd have to come out strong in the first 10 minutes and play hard. And we did that and we continue to work. And uh, as long as we work as hard as we have, we'll be successful. One of the keys, at least for the Oilers in this game, uh, one reason why they haven't gotten back into it in the second period has been the goaltending of Mario Lassard. Well, that's right. Mario came up big tonight. Uh, he's a, a tremendous competitor. And anytime we get the good goaltending from Mario, our team's going to be tough to beat. Let's look at your goal now. Rick Chartra takes the shot along the right boards. Maybe you can pick it up for us. Yeah, here's Charlie. He just uh, passed the puck back here to Shardy. I went for the net. He shoots it, and I got my stick on it. And just got by fur. He got a piece of it, and uh, it went in the net. Here's Shardy shooting the puck, and I just tipped it, and it went upstairs on him. It seemed like in that second period, after the Kings got the 6-2 lead, they were trying to go on the glove side of Fury. Do you think that maybe that's his vulnerable spot, although he has shown a great glove hand in the series? Well, Grant Fury has a, has a pretty good glove hand. We're not just trying to beat him on the glove side. I think that we're just trying to get the puck by him. That was, that was a tough thing to do last night. Uh, I thought we uh, had a lot of shots and chances, and he came out big for them last night. So we're just trying to get the puck behind him and get that red light on so we can get out of here with a win. I think the forechecking has been outstanding. Uh, that goes along with the hard work. And really, uh, the Oilers have given up the puck quite a few times in the game, but a lot of those giveaways are forced, aren't they? Well, that's true. I, we feel that if we get on them, get on them hard, that they've got to be tired by now. And uh, we've gone with four lines, and they've been going with mainly just two and a little bit. So uh, we feel that if we work hard and uh, everybody comes out hard on the defense and makes them make mistakes, and we'll capitalize. And that's what's happened. Uh, I think they're a little bit tired right now. And, we just got to hold together for the next period, pay, have a little poise and composure here and, and make the smart plays, and uh, I think we'll be all right. Well, Dan, I'll let you get back to the dressing room. Again, congratulations on the behalf of the Kings fans watching. Uh, they have to be very proud of this hockey club right now, up by four goals, and hopefully uh, we can hold on for another 20 minutes. Yeah, I hope so. Dan Bonner, who has scored the sixth Kings goal, his first of the playoffs at 15-15, our guest between periods. And Bob will be back with more in two minutes. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kerb, successful businessman, active lieutenant. And Bonner with his first tipping in chart draw shot at 15-15, made it 6-2. Shots on goal, second period, Oilers 15, Kings 10. Two period totals, Oilers 32, Kings 23. Kings in front, 20 minutes left, and here's Bob. Hi, right, Nick, thank you. The puck comes into the... Oilers zone back behind the net. Pass up to center ice. Both teams are at full strength. Here's Gretzky with it. I'm sure both coaches reminded the teams of what happened last Saturday in Los Angeles. Gretzky centering pass. Korab breaks it up and it is cleared to center ice to Mike Murphy. Murphy into the Oilers zone. Drops it back to Dion. Dion shoots wide to the left side. Rebound held in by Darrell Evans. Taken away by Paul Coffey. Coffey's pass. Up to the right point. Dion with it. Right side. Oilers zone. He shoots wide. Rebound to Darrell Evans. Evans against the boards. Rolls it in deep. I'm sure Don Perry said, just remember it's not over yet. And I'm sure Glenn Saylor said, it can be done. Huck is still in the Oilers zone. We're in the third period. Kings leading 6-2. Huck is against the boards. Dion and Mike Murphy. There it comes loose to Gretzky. Here's Gretzky. Passing up to center ice. Oilers with it to the King line. Taken away by Hardy from Anderson. Picked up by Lowe. Lowe backhands it into the King zone. 18.55 to go in the game. Puck taken by the Kings. Here's Doug Smith. He gets bounced in the... Thing. Messi able to drive. Saved by the side. As the Oilers picked it up. Now to the right point. Fogelin holds it in. He shoots. Tipped wide off the glass. Taken now by Laurie Boschman. Boschman checked into the board. Puck is loose. Chartra tries to get it. He can't. Still loose. Held in by Lowell. Hopkins goes for it. Hopkins holds it against the board. Well, it can be done. What the Kings have to do is just remain calm, play it very smart in their own zone. If they're bottled up and they have some room and no one to pass to, they'll just have to try and flip it out, not fire it down hard. Of course, they'll get the icing call if that happens. 18-29 left, 6-2 Kings. The Islanders won in overtime. 4-3, they'll play the Rangers. Quebec upset Montreal. They win 3-2. Quebec will play Boston in that quarterfinal round. 18-29 to go in this game, and uh, face off inside the King Blue line, about 15 feet inside. Doug Smith is out. 
at center, left wing, Bozek, right wing is Dean Hopkins, and he and Messier get mixed up. And again they do, and Gauthier drops the puck, and again the Kings win the draw. Smith to Larry Murphy, back hands it up in the air, out to center right. It bounces down into the Oilers' zone. Oilers moving from right to left, third period. Silkin is set, third up to center right. Larry Murphy takes it, puts it back into the Oilers' zone. Taken by Silkin, Silkin spins around, passes up to center right, gets his own pass. Silkin down the right side, he shoots, gloves saved by the side, looks like it was going high. He dropped it down to Larry Murphy, Murphy can't clear it, held in by Huddy, and Huddy's got blocked by Doug Smith down into the Oilers zone. 17.55 to go in the game. Kings lead it. 6-2. Here's Silton in the center ice. Silton in, rolls it down into the King zone. Back to get it, Larry Murphy. Murphy starts out of the King zone. They're moving left to right. Pass ahead to J.P. Kelly. Kelly's pass intercepted at center ice. Oilers take it away. It was tipped by Hunter. Here's Dave Hunter, his brother that scored that winning goal for Quebec. Shot in a save by Lassard and the shot by Hughes. Picked up and cleared on the backhand by Wells. Up to center ice. It deflects all the way down into the other zone, and it's an icing call against the Kings. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. The forecast is for more snow and hazardous driving conditions. Lock up slippery going. We'll make it, Sarge. When people are counting on you to come through, it's nice to have a Toyota Corolla Tercel pulling for you. The 1982 front-wheel drive Toyota Tercel. Toyota's lowest-priced car. The Toyota Tercel. A car that pulls its own weight. And a little bit more. Tercel! Face off to the right of Mario Lassard. Tom Rolston ready on the draw against Dan Bonner. And Bonner wins the draw. Puck taken by Korab. His pass around the board. Simmer gets checked and the puck is held against the board by Fogelin. And now whistles dead. Face off will be in the King zone. 17-15 left to go here in this game with the Kings ahead 6-2. The winner of this game plays Vancouver Thursday and Friday in Vancouver, Sunday and Monday in either Los Angeles or Edmonton. Puck taken by Korab. He flips it up in the air and out to center ice. Taken by Kevin Lowe of the Oilers. He backhands it off the glass, back behind the King net. Lassard stops it there. He leaves it for Dave Lewis. Lewis is passed. And on the boards to Taylor. Taylor ahead the birdie next to Cyril Bonner. Bonner 2 on one with Simmer. Bonner down the right side. He shoots. He scores! Danny Bonner! He drove it right past Grant Muir. He overpowered Pure from the right wing, and the Kings lead seven to two. I'll tell you, Dan Bonner being rewarded for all of his hard work throughout the course of the regular season into these playoffs, his second goal of the playoffs, both here tonight. The goal at 3:06 of the third period, a two-on-one break. Bonner, top of the circle. Pure got a piece of it, but it slipped. It looked like between his arm and chest into the net. Taylor and Lewis will pick up the assists. For Dave Taylor, that playoff point will be his fifth and his fourth assist. 7-2 Kings, third period, 16-48 to go in the game. Puck fired in by Coffey, sticks away by Lassard. Into the boards, Anderson with it, comes behind the net. Lassard rolling out in front and then he dives on it. And we'll have a face-off. This game with the Kings leading 7-2. Coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings hockey being brought to you by Great Western Savings with nearly $11 billion in assets and more than 120 convenient locations to serve you. Great Western. Marcel Dion coming out. Darrell Evans and Mike Murphy. Dion has seen double duty here tonight. He's been between these two wingers and his usual wingers of Simmer and Taylor. 7-2 Kings. Cleared to center ice by Hardy. It rolls into the Oilers zone. Coffee back to get it. Coffee drives it off the board. Up to Semenko. Tipped away. Sharks at center ice. He flips it back into the Oilers zone. Into the corner. Riviere chased by Dion. Riviere to Coffee. Coffee behind the Oilers net. He loses it in. Oh, almost lost in front except Mike Murphy kind of got hooked there and couldn't get to it. Now, loose puck. Curry's pass. Mike Murphy holds it in. Murphy faces Curry behind the net. 16.05 to go in the game. 7 to 2 in favor of the Kings. Can we see another miracle finish? I hope not. Up to center ice. 
Here comes Semenko. He rolls it down the middle into King Zone Lassard. Puts it off the right wing boards to Chartra. Chartra bumped hard by Semenko. Kings have to keep their cool now. They got a five goal lead. Puck fired into the King Zone Lassard. Stops it. Gives it to Chartra. Semenko bumps him again. Not hard. Chesky steals the pass. Pass in front to Curry. Couldn't tip it in. Lassard pokes it behind the net. Taken by the Kings. Hopkins to center ice. Coffee intercepts. It's going to be offside. And they whistle it down with 15.31 to go in the game. King 7, Oilers 2. The seventh goal at 3.06 here in the third. Dan Bonner is second. Taylor assists four. And Dave Lewis assists number four in the playoffs. Well, these playoff games certainly exciting. And hopefully we can win over some hockey fans for next year. The Kings right now the hottest thing on ice. Enjoy all the action next year with season seats. Find out how to score with the Kings next season. Call 453-3571 right now. That's 453-3571. Shots on goal, Oilers 36, Kings 25. Score, Kings 7, Oilers 2. Face off out at center ice. Puck comes into the King zone. Kings have Doug Smith at center, Bozek and Hopkins on the wings. Larry Murphy and Wells back. Kings with it. Here's Doug Smith up to center ice. Smith across the red line, shoots it into the Oilers zone. Puck comes around the right wing board. Hopkins check hard there. Puck bounces into Messier. Here's Messier behind his own net. He drops it off in the corner. Oilers moving right to left. Shilton in the center right, long pass to Messier at the blue line. He tipped it in, and an offside pass called against the Oilers. 15.06 to go in the game. Kings 7, Oilers 2. King goals tonight, two by Charlie Simmer, one by Darrell Evans. One by Dion, one by Nichols, and two by Bonner. Mark Messier offsides on his off wing right there. He stays out. He has been a bit of a disappointment for the Oilers. Just three points in the series, a goal and two assists. Up comes the center ice. Larry Murphy shoots it down into the Oilers zone. Back to get it, Charlie Huddy. This is the fifth and deciding game of the series. The winner will meet Vancouver. Puck taken away by Dion at the blue, or by Bozak at the blue line. Over to Smith, he shoots, saved by Fuhrer. Puck comes over to Bozak, left wing or his own. Bozak with it. In the corner, checked by Silkenen and Boschman. Bozak still with it, holds it against the boards, and will draw the face off. 14-42 to go in the game. You know, it seems like every time you look down there and who's got the puck, it's another rookie. Evans. Nichols, Bozek, Smith, Bozek playing it smart right there. Couldn't find an open man to pass to. Really didn't have enough time to dump it back behind the net, so he did the next best thing. He froze it, but he forced the face off, so the face off comes outside the attacking zone. Bernie Nichols on the draw, wins the draw. How many face offs have the Kings won tonight? It's been an incredible number, and that has been a major factor in their leading 7 2. Up to center right, Kevin Lowe drives it in. And off the boards that came right toward the front of the net unless Lassard went diving over to stop it. And, of course, another major factor, the play of Mario Lassard in net tonight. This game coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Great performers at every position. You'll find them at your Toyota dealer from the sporty Celica to the rugged SR5 sports truck. Just one drive will tell you what a feeling it is to drive a Toyota. Puck taken by the Oilers, held in the King zone. Korab in the corner, gets knocked down by Unger, and Korab falls on the puck. Korab got tripped from behind by Unger, fell down, and then kind of helped the puck come underneath him a little bit. That was like a chain reaction. One player hooked Unger, then Unger in turn hooked Korab, who was in front of him as all three players were going to the corner to the left of Lassard to play the puck. Ogilvy off the draw with a drive deflected wide in the King zone. Picked up by Fox. Jimmy Fox has a little stolen score! by Unger. Jimmy Fox had it. He tried to come up the right side. He lost it to Gary Unger, and Unger scores. It's the Kings 7, the Oilers 3, 14.09 to go. The goal should be unassisted. Gary Unger's first playoff point. Unger saw a little action in games 1 and 2, did not dress because of a personal problem in game 1. He's been out for some key face-offs, but tonight, doesn't matter who's out there for the Oilers, the Kings have won about 75% of the draws. The goal unassisted. All right, now the puck of the King line. Flipped to the blue line. Now to center right. All right, the Kings don't, did not want to give the Oilers that chance to come back, and Jimmy Fox just lost it as he tried to come up the middle. Here's Hardy with it. 
Kings have to get one back now, I think, to shut down the others. They're going to have some momentum now. 13.45 to go in this game. 7-3, Kings leading. Here's Hunter at center ice. Hunter to the King line. Hunter across the line. Centers it to Unger. Backhander saved by Lassard. He gives it behind the net to Hardy. Hardy's pass. He gave it away to Lowe. Lowe at the left point. His pass in deep behind the net. Picked up by the Kings and driven around the boards by Dan Bonner all the way down the other zone. It's picked up by Kevin Lowe. 13-15 to go in the game. Lowe's pass in the King zone. Chased down by Wells. Wells passes around to the right wing to Mike Murphy. King zone. Murph can't clear it. Held in by Anderson. Anderson pass into Gretzky. Gretzky's pass intercepted by Mike Murphy and he clears it high this time down into the other zone. We're going to get an icing call against the Kings. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It's happening now. Sears Days, a sale as great as its name. With spectacular 55% savings on this three-piece Craftsman player set. It helps you get the job done for just $9.99. And when it's time to play, include the Atari-compatible Sears Video Arcade. Sale priced at only $139.99. Just for fun, stock up on video game cartridges from Sears Super Assortment, including Pac-Man, Asteroids, and Breakaway. Every day is a value day during Sears Days. For a sale as great as its name, you can count on Sears. Wayne Gretzky out to the Oilers against Marcel Dion. 12.57 to go in the game. King 7, Oilers 3. The Oilers have just scored. Gary Younger. Gretzky wins the draw. To the blue line. Shot by Coffey. Deflects in front of Lassard. Huck picked up by Larry Murphy. To Mike Murphy. He clears at the center ice. Fans want a penalty. Who else got dragged down there? Gretzky or Kurt? Gretzky. And he was looking at the referee looking for the penalty. Oilers with it. Here's Coffey. His pass. Out of the reach of Gretzky. Taken to the king line by Larry Murphy. He drives it to Mike Murphy. To Dion. To Mike Murphy. Offside Kings at the Oiler line. 12.36 to go in the game. Kings leading 7-3. Again, in the other two games that were played tonight, they both went into overtime. The Islanders rallying from a 3-1 deficit. Tied it at the end of three, won it in overtime. Tonelli got the game winner. So the Islanders meet the Rangers in the quarterfinal matchup in the Patrick Division. And in the other game, the Quebec Nordiques have finished fourth in their division. Montreal won it. Quebec wins. Game five in overtime, three to two. Hunter with the winner. Oilers with it as they won the draw. Randy Gregg flips it into the King zone. Larry Murphy in to get it. Murphy flips it up in the air and out to center ice. Bounces down to Greg. Greg's pass taken a, tipped away by Evans for a moment, but now the Oilers with it. Back they come. Yari Curry, King zone. Drops it to Anderson. Left side. He shoots wide. Rebound behind the net. Daryl Evans with it. Evans pass around the boards to Larry Murphy. He's bumped by Curry. Out to the blue line to Randy Gregg. He shoots. Deflected. Kings with it. Here's Mike Murphy with Dion. He gives it to Dion. Three on one. Dion to the early line. Murphy down the middle. Dion still with it over to Evans. He shoots wide to the left side. Puck comes back behind the Oiler net. 11.55 to go in the game. 7-3 to three Kings. Up to center ice Oilers. Curry, King zone. Left side. Backhander saved by Lassard. Curry behind the net. Overskates it. Korab with it. His pass to Dion. Dion up the left side. Ahead to Korab at center ice. Korab picks it up. I think Korab may have been hit up around the face with a stick. He's reaching up on the right side of his face. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings. Hockey Network. KHJ TV, Channel 9, your RKO General Station, Los Angeles. The Kings doing a good job of preventing the Oilers from getting sustained pressure with 11.37 left. Whenever they get the chance, they're just flipping it high in the air to clear the zone. Oilers win the draw. The Oilers starting to win more of the faceoffs now here in the third period. Ralston won it. Puck comes into the Kings zone. Jerry Korab with it. Korab's pass. Stolen by Lumley. Lumley to the right point. To the Riviere. His shot blocked in front just before it got to Messier by Korab. Pass ahead by Hopkins. He was trying to get it to Doug Smith. Oilers with it. Messier right wing. Stops. Fans taken away by Dave Lewis. Lewis clears it out to center ice. Le Riviere with it. 11-10 to go in the game. Kings ahead, 7-3. Oilers with it. Left wing pass to Coffey. He is spun around, knocked down, no penalty. Korab pass comes out to center ice. They're not going to call an icing. Puck comes back behind the Oiler net. It was tipped at center ice. Oilers pick it up. Pass up to center ice. Tipped again into the King zone. This is going to be icing as the Kings' Mark Hardy gets back to touch it. 10.50 left to go in the game. The Oilers have 40 shots. The Kings 26. 
but the Kings lead in the game 7-3. to three. Wayne Gretzky, uh, Bob, I think in the last two games, really has not made his presence known as he did in the first three games. And, of course, during the regular season in the eight games against the Kings, he's been held at just two points in the two games here tonight and last night. Oilers with it in their own zone now. Pass the blue line, held in by Jimmy Fox. Kings have Bernie Nichols out with Fox and Kelly. Back on defense, Hardy and Chartra. Here's Kevin Lowe with it. Lowe's pass over to Fogelin. Fogelin to center ice. He gave it to Hughes. Hughes tips it over to Hunter. Hunter left side. Drives it behind the King net. Lassard is out of the net. It comes into the corner though. Bernie Nichols scoops it up. Here's Nichols. He's got a King goal tonight. He comes to center ice. Drops it back to J.P. Kelly. Kelly can't hold it. Picked up by Fox. Fox down the left wing. Oilers own. Fox shoots over the net. Puck comes out for the right point to Chartra. Chartra, his shot tipped away in front by Fuhr. Picked up by Jimmy Fox. Holds it into J.P. Kelly. Kelly drives it behind the Oiler net. Picked up there by Lowe. Ten minutes to go in the game. King seven, Oilers three. Here's the right wing pass. Into the King zone. Hip checked by Hardy. Took his man out of the right wing. It was Hughes. Pass in front. Tipped away by Lassard. Bouncing puck. Lowe with it. Behind the King net. Lowe checked by Hardy. Pass up the middle. Unger couldn't get it. J.P. Kelly clears it off the boards to center ice. Puck comes down into the Oilers zone. Chased in by Siltonen. Siltonen goes behind his own net. Siltonen's pass. Still has it. He gets knocked down. Puck taken by Bonner. He gets tripped. Oh, they're calling nothing now. Fans started to boo because Siltonen got knocked down. And then they had nothing to boo about after Bonner got tripped and it wasn't called. Now it's center ice. A dive by Anderson. Nothing called. Puck comes up to center ice. Chased down by Dan Bonner. Poked away from him by Siltonen. Mike Murphy couldn't bring it in. Taken by Gretzky. Here's Gretzky. And now who's hurt? Domenko just slashed Bonner on the back of the helmet. I can't believe Man Helleman didn't call that one. That was flagrant. Well, I'm glad we talked to Dutch Van Dielen. He's taken all this in, and Andy Van Helleman is not calling anything. Shot from the right side wide. Picked up by the King. Mike Murphy on the right wing. Bonner's all right. He's up. Pass ahead to Simmer. Bounced over his stick. Silton in with it. 8.55 to go in the game. King 7, Oilers 3. Pass comes out to center ice. Larry Murphy with it the red line. Shoots it right back into the Oilers zone. It's back behind the net. Oilers with it now. Kings change. Lewis comes out. Larry Murphy, Dion, Mike Murphy, and Evans. Mike Murphy takes it at center ice. Drives it back behind the Oiler net. Boy, smart hockey played out there by the Kings right now. Puck taken by the Oilers. 7-3, Kings lead. Here come the Oilers to center ice. Glenn Anderson, pass broken up by Dion. We've got too many men on the ice. I thought for a moment for the Oilers. Dion pointed the linesman. They didn't call anything. Here is... Korab rolling it to the other line. Coffee back to get it. He lost it to Daryl Evans. Evans holds it in. Evans rolls it in deep. Coffee with it again. Almost gave it away, but Gretzky picks it up. Dion steals it from Gretzky. Dion at center ice. Flips it into the other zone. The Riviere with it. The Riviere's pass over to Messier. Messier tips it. Poked ahead by Lewis. To Hopkins. Hopkins slaps it off the boards into the Euler, to the other line. The Riviere with it. 7.55 to go in the game. 7-3 Kings. Puck flipped into the King zone. Messier and Dion go for it. It comes over to Gretzky. To the right point to the Riviere. He shoots. Tip wide. Back behind the net. Gretzky with a pass in front. Shot wide by Curry. Puck comes around the boards. Kings clear at the center ice. Picked up by Coffey for the Oilers. Coffey has to wait for Gretzky to get onside. Looked like another offside on the right side. It was not called. Kings take it away. And Dion clears at the center ice. 7.30 to go in the game. 7-3 Kings. Here's Le Riviere. His pass knocked down by Dion. He gave a hand pass to Fox. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Come on, baby, I'll buy you a beer. Bull. If you want to get your message through loud and clear, the bull shows a lot more taste than beer. The bull is so smooth. Yes, this malt liquor is in the groove. Well, Bob, time definitely a factor right now as far as the Oilers are concerned. They are going to have to pull out all the stops, rush five men in deep if it calls for it. Some of the fans are pulling out. They're pulling the old ripcord here with 7.26 to go. They're bailing out. 7-3 Kings. The winner will meet Vancouver Thursday and Friday in Vancouver, Sunday and Monday in Los Angeles. Pass in front to Unger. Tipped away at the last second before he could shoot by Chartra. And the Kings, Bernie Nichols, clears it to the blue line. Now to center ice. Puck comes to the Oiler line. 7-3 Kings. 7-12 left to go in this game. 
Puck taken by the Oilers. Here they come to the king line. Dave Hunter with it. Hunter down the left side. He shoots wide to the left side. Rebound into the corner. Picked up by Hardy. Hardy checked by Hughes. Hughes digs it out in front. He shoots. Saved by Lassard. And he covers up on it. Mario has faced over 40 shots in the game. Another good save off Hughes from in tight. This game is coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. Kings Hockey being brought to you by Krabari Wine, Krabari and Party, Krabari and Good Times. All the good things in life are even better with Krabari. Smith, Hopkins, Evans, three youngsters. Dean Hopkins, a third-year pro. Larry Murphy, a second-year pro. Smith, the rookie. Wells, a third-year pro. Boy, the youngsters playing very well in this series. Here's Wells ahead to Evans. He clears it down into the Oilers' zone. It's going to be chased down by Randy Gregg. Gregg goes behind his own net. 7-3 Kings. Gregg is bumped hard by Smith. Puck comes in front to Hopkins. He couldn't jam it in. Taken by Laurie Boschman. Boschman's pass. Up the right side. It comes to the blue line and out the center ice. Picked up by the King. Pass to Wells. Wells pass over to Larry Murphy. Murphy in front of the King bench. He drives it into the Oilers' zone. Knocked down there by Shiltonen. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. Pass up to the blue line. Jay Wells tried to get it. It hopped up over the glass and into the crowd. Well, there's always something going on at Southern California's showplace. And, of course, the showplace is the fabulous forum. Coming to the forum, you can see Black Sabbath in concert April 15th. And in the summer, there's the Winston Championship Rodeo, Ringling Brothers Circus, Team Tennis with the L.A. Strings, and, of course, much more. For information on all forum events, call the 24-hour information line at 673-1300. 73Kings, 626 left. I don't want to be accused of jinxing anybody, but we have to give you information now with this score, 73Kings. If the Kings win it, we'll be on the air live on radio and television at 10 minutes to 8 Thursday and Friday nights. And then the series will switch to Los Angeles next Sunday night at 7 o'clock, Monday night at 7.30. Tickets for those games will go on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at the Forum Box Office. Huck taken by the Oilers. Lumley passes behind his own net. The Kings lead it 7-3. Up to center ice now. Here's Randy Gregg. His pass tipped at the blue line and held in by Messier. Taken away by Smith. Ahead to Evans. Evans down the left wing to the other line. He shoots. Stick save by Pure. Evans getting those shots on net now. 5.50 left to go in the game. At center ice, Korab pokes it away from Bosman. Greg picks it up. Greg drives it into the King's zone. Korab knocks it down. 7-3 King. Bob Miller here along with Nick Nixon. Oilers send two men in deep. One of them is Dresky. Puck held in. Coffee will drive. He scores! It was tipped in front by Lumley. Lumley tipped it in, and somebody threw a rubber chicken out on the ice in front of Lassard. 5.36 left. 7-4. Kings lead. Shot deflected in front by Lumley, who was being dumped from behind by Dave Lewis as the Oilers kept it in on left point. Second playoff goal for Dave Lumley. It comes at 14.24 here in the third period. The Kings drive it into the Oilers zone. Anderson picks it up. 5.25 to go. Pass up the center ice. Bozak back to get it. He gives it, or Lewis gives it to Mike Murphy. Pass stolen. Oilers. Gretzky left side. King zone. Gretzky right wing pass into the King zone. Pass goes into Liverpool. Drives it behind the net to Coffee. Coffee tipped by Bozak. Pass comes up the middle and out the center ice. 5.08 to go in the game. King seven. Oilers four. Puck taken by Glenn Anderson. Poked away by Bozak. Bozak. Lost it to Anderson again. Anderson back in the Oilers zone. Gives it to Gary LaRiviere. 4.55 to go in the game. Pass to the King line. Picked up by the Oilers. Taken by the left side. Anderson moving in. Coach checked away. Kings with it. Kings up the center ice. Three on two. Bozak with Bonner. Now joined by Taylor. Bozak left side. Gives it to Taylor in the slot. Taylor backhander. Saved by Fuhr. Rebound to Bozak. Right side. Bozak. He is bumped. He gets up. Centered it. Broken up by the Oilers. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Seven four Kings. Oilers with it. Curry right side. Bumped at the blue line. Puck is held in by Lowe. Lowe drives it in deep. Gretzky go for it. Lassard gives it to the Kings. It's taken by Simmer now to center ice. And Charlie rolls it into the Oilers zone. Hardy had given it to him. 4-14 to go in the game. Puck comes up to center ice. Bounces to the King line. Into the King zone. Hardy with it. Hardy drives it off the boards to center ice. 
Taken there by Fogland. He's pumped by Simmons. Low with it. Four minutes to go in the game. 7 4 10. Close past the king line. Broken up by Chartrand. Up to center ice. Oilers take it away. Low to Hunter. To Low. Low at the red line. Low's pass. Right side. Fogelin drives it in behind the king net. The Sard stops it there. Drives it back along the boards to Simmer on the left wing. Simmer headmans it up to Bonner. Didn't get it. Puck comes to center ice. Hughes with it. He waits for Hunter to get on side. 3.45 to go in the game. Here's Gretzky. Left point. His pass. Intercepted by Simmer. Charlie's pass. Up to center ice. Intercepted by Gretzky. Gretzky at the red line. Gretzky to the king line. Gretzky trying to get down the middle. Knocked down. Puck comes off the board. Jimmy Fox fights for it. Held in by the Oilers. Chartra goes for it. Behind the net with Gretzky. Gretzky with it. Gretzky passes the middle. Long shoot. Safe. Rebound cleared to center ice. Charlie Simmer chases it down. Simmer with one man back at Fogelin. Simmer stops. Still has it. Simmer waits. Passes in deep in the Oilers zone. Another great save. Point blank by Lazard off Kevin Law. That's been a big difference in this game. Here comes Messier, down the right wing, drops it back to Gretzky. Gretzky's pass to the middle, Silton and shot, blocked by Smith. Rebound Gretzky, pass into Lumley, tips it in the corner. King zone, puck is in deep, 2.53 to go in the game. Gretzky digs it out, gives it behind the net to Lumley, around the front, batted away, hooked away by Lassard, up to Nichols, he clears it. 2.42 to go in the game. Messier with it, Messier at center ice. Passing off now, it comes over to Greg. Here's Greg to the line, gets it back, rolls it in deep. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Puck is behind the net, Jay Wells with a King zone. Wells passes around Gretzky to center ice, picked up by the Kings. Wells to Murphy, Larry Murphy, 2.24 to go in the game. Murphy in the Oilers zone, gives it to Bernie Nichols, down the right side. Nichols in deep, spins away from Shiltonen. Stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll be talking with one of the Kings. Here's Mike Murphy trying to move in. Poked away. Evans with it. Evans, right side. Evans in the corner. Oiler zone. Passes behind the net to Nichols. Nichols around in front. He shoots. Save. Rebound. Mike Murphy couldn't put it in. And Pure falls on it. 2.03 to go in the game. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Drivers in this league must have tough, dependable tires. Many rely on generals for trucks and cars. If you're looking for a radial tire for your car, put on the GSR. A bias tire? Get General's Amara Sprint. Both proven performance, both at a great low price. For tires or service, you must be satisfied. Stop in soon. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. Playoff tickets available tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Forum box office for the... Series against Vancouver Sunday night at the Forum at 7 o'clock. Next Monday night at 7.30. If you already have tickets, use tickets marked B1 for the first game and Series B, Game 2 for the second game. Oilers with it. A minute 58 to go in the game. 7-4 Kings. Here's Paul Coffey to the King line to Hunter. Hunter still with it. Gives it over on the left side. Now in deep in the corner. Tipped away. Kings with it. Chartra ahead to center ice. Taken by Bozak. Bozak left wing. Bozak dropped it back to Mike Murphy. Oilers zone. Murphy check. A minute 39 to go in the game. The Kings are going to eliminate the Oilers after a great regular season by Edmonton. The Kings will meet Vancouver. We'll be on radio and television at 10 minutes to 8 Thursday and Friday night. 126 to go in the game. Pass up to the King line. Comes into the King zone. Loose puck offside. Offside called with 121. Again, let us remind you, tickets will go on sale tomorrow morning at the Forum box office at 10 a.m., also at Ticketron for the series against Vancouver. The first game in that series, the first in Los Angeles, will be Sunday night at 7 p.m. The second game next Monday night at 7.30. Use tickets marked Series B Game 1, Series B Game 2. And am I happy to make that announcement? <laughs> Here's Hardy at center ice. He rolls it in. 1.15 to go in the game. Nick is downstairs. He'll be talking with one of the Kings, maybe a couple of them. Huck comes up to center ice. The Oilers, make no mistake about it, they've had a great year, but the Kings are going to eliminate them with a great effort here tonight in Edmonton. Last minute of play in the season for the Oilers. The Kings will continue. The Canadians are out of it. They got beat tonight in overtime. 17,490 were here. Not that many left. Offside Oilers. Their season is gone. 46 seconds left in it. This game with the Kings leading 7-4 coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta. 
Mark C. Bloom, Southern California's leading tire dealer with over 50 stores to serve you. Mark C. Bloom, they take care of your car from the tires up. The Kings had not won a game this season in this building, and now Don Perry and Brad Selwood exchange smiles 40 seconds away from moving into the divisional championship round. That's the best four out of seven. 30 seconds now left to go in the game. Kings seven, Oilers four. They did it the hard way, coming from five goals down in the greatest single game comeback in Stanley Cup history, losing last night in L.A., winning here tonight in Edmonton. 19 seconds to go in the game. The Kings are jumping up and down on the uh, board and the bench. Oilers with it. 10 seconds to go in the game. The Kings lead it. Kings with it. Poked in the corner. 7 seconds to go in the game. 7-4 Kings. 4 seconds to go in the Oilers season. It's going to be all over. The Kings win it. Lassard being congratulated and oh what an effort he put in tonight. Did he make saves? Unbelievable saves. The Kings played a strong defensive game. They won face-offs and here one of the great moments I think in sports is the handshaking ceremony out at center ice. They're showing the owner of the others, Peter Pocklington, but let's get down to the center ice ceremony. The two teams are lined up shaking hands. The Kings will advance. They'll meet Vancouver Thursday and Friday night. We'll be on radio and television live at 10 minutes to 8. Sunday night in Los Angeles at 7. Monday night in Los Angeles at 7.30. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning. Forum box office, Ticketron. The forum charge line, 674-4700. And Purdy Nichols does a little pumpernickel coming off the ice. The Kings win it. 7 to 4 and the Oilers season is over and we'll be talking with some of the Kings now on our post game show and we will be back here Wayne Gretzky skating off beyond leaps into the arms of Daryl Evans down there right now we'll be back in one minute this is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network let's get cracking Tony Introducing the 1982 edition of the best-selling car in the world, the Toyota Corolla. Why is it the best-selling car in the world? Maybe people know that they can depend on it, and that gives them a very good feeling. The 1982 Toyota Corolla. Depend on it. Corolla! Folks came here by the thousands, bringing their hopes and their dreams, and people like Great Western Savings were here to meet them. And now, almost a hundred years later, Great Western is still here, still helping to build the West, still paying the highest interest the law allows. Great Western Savings. The opportunities are still here. Back live at the Northlands Coliseum in the third period with the Kings leading 6-2. Dan Bonner made it 7-2, his second goal of the game, second of the series from Dave Taylor and Dave Lewis at 3.06. Then Gary Unger scored for the Oilers as he took the puck from Jimmy Fox, scored an unassisted goal, his first of the series at 5.51. That made it 7-3. The Oilers with somewhat of a comeback then. And then Dave Lumley deflected a shot into the net his second of the series, and I'm sorry right now, I do not have the assists on that, came at 14-24 of the third period. That made it 7-4. Paul Coffey had the assist on that goal by Lumley. And the final shots on goal are in the third period. Edmonton 12, the Kings 8 for the game. Edmonton 44, and the Kings 31. We want to thank our ITV crew up here in Edmonton. They did a magnificent job for us. Thank you very much, guys. And... Uh, Thanks to all of our sponsors and all of you fans. There are going to be more games in Los Angeles. We'll be on the air, radio and television, Thursday and Friday from Vancouver against the Canucks, 10 minutes to 8 each night, Sunday night in Los Angeles at 7 o'clock, Monday night in Los Angeles at 7.30. Tickets go on sale for those games tomorrow morning, Forum Box Office, Ticketron, and the Forum Charge Line. 
Now, for Nick Nixon, this is Bob Miller. The Kings win at 7-4. We invite you to stay tuned now for Kings Wrap-Up, which follows immediately. Kings Hockey has been brought to you by Toyota, the official car of the Kings. See all the 1982 Toyota cars and trucks today at your Toyota dealer. Oh, what a feeling to drive a Toyota. And by Sears, where satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. For quality, value, and service, you can count on Sears. By Schlitz, the master brewer's brew. Just one taste and you'll know, behind every Schlitz is a man who knows his beer. And brought to you by Kribari Wines. 80 years of winemaking skill go into every glass of Kribari Wines. And all the good things in life are even better with Kribari. By Republic Airlines, the official airline of the Kings. Nobody serves our Republic like Republic Airlines. And by Great Western Savings. With nearly $11 billion in assets and more than 120 convenient locations to serve you. It's unusual for someone new to public life to gain the respect of fellow office holders the way Mike Kerb has. But all the names you're seeing on the screen are public officials who have endorsed Mike Kerb for governor. He has the endorsement of the majority of Republicans in the state assembly. The reason is simple. Mike Kerb is honest, straightforward, and effective. He has the right combination of strength and determination to guide our state toward a better future. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kerb, the right governor for right now. Brand names at big savings. At Jamco, our aim is to give our members the lowest prices. Corn in kitchen set in wildflower, cornflower, or spice of life design. Only $24.97. Coleco's official Pac-Man game. Play sounds and scores like the real arcade Pac-Man. Just $59.97. And the Daiwa Silver Series 1300C spinning reel with skirted spool. Just $14.88. Jamco's got it all. At Jamco, our aim is to give our members the lowest prices. No place for timid tires. And since 1915, General's been meeting the need with tough, quality tires for trucks and cars. Same still true today with General's family of quality, fuel-efficient, steel, and glass-belted radials at great prices. Remember, for tires or service, you must be satisfied. Stop in soon. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. Canon presents a new camera. John, I'm working. Can I have my camera back? Just one more. It's Canon's new <laughs> AE-1 program. This new Canon AE-1 program, super. Just one more. No matter how tough the light, the new program mode makes it easy to shoot like a pro. Here, get to work. The new AE-1 program. Draw in the pool. So advanced, it's simple. And more of both. Canon, the official camera of the Los Angeles Kings. The Masculine Mystique, Sunday at 6 on Channel 9. Who are stout-hearted men. Now it's King's Wrap-Up with Bob Miller and Nick Nixon. Brought to you by Pepsi-Cola. In Southern California, Taste Test this year, more people preferred the taste of Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Take the Pepsi Challenge and let your taste design. Nick Nixon back here at the Northlands Coliseum where the Los Angeles Kings have just upset the Edmonton Oilers by winning game five, the deciding game seven to four. And I thought that we'd talk to two of the veterans who have been with the Kings for so many seasons. To my left, Mike Murphy. To my right, Marcel Dion. Marcel, when that buzzer sounded, what was going through your mind? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I don't think it's an upset. <laughs> we were very confident. All I can say is that all the people at home that stuck with us my wife, all the players' wives, my friends for the last seven years. We prove it to everybody. What went through my mind, I think, I was happy because we had the game under control, I think, the, the whole period. But Saturday night was probably the greatest thrill of my life. But I want to tell you something. I hope next time Jerry Buss puts some glue on his seat and you make sure he doesn't leave because <laughs> we never gave up. It was tough when he came back with that sec uh, second goal and uh, after the first period, like in the last minute. But we went back in and we knew we were skating good. And I'll tell you one thing. This is the greatest win. But... Everybody was against us. The press, Hockey Night in Canada, you know, nobody gave us a chance. And, uh, you know, I've been there before, and Mike's been there, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of pride, and uh, we felt we could do it. Mario came big tonight, but I'll tell you one thing. We won with 20 players, and we won, we won with those guys, and I'm, I'm really proud because we did it. It was tough. It took a long time, but right now we have things our way. 
to say